guys, I mean, it's a sort of a mix between two sessions. You guys found your way out of, uh, well, 68 is when you guys got to the, the inn, right? Yeah. So 69 was you guys finding Henry outside uh, one of your windows. He falls to the ground. You guys go get his ass, bring him inside, have multiple conversations about the lich, the logic behind the lich, what Henry's been up to. Henry and Kilo sort of coming back together a little bit of hostility between mardor and and uh henry uh which led to you guys kind of being set on the path for the lich but not really sure you just know that you got to go back to mistal first uh henry ends up leaving uh kilo chased after him had a, a little bit of a heart to heart before coming back the next morning mardor was gone and left in her bed was a little figurine made out of her wool of her uh, with a note to the rest of the party and Sticky that after being taken at face value was also additionally deciphered to uh, say protect her in regards to Sticky. You guys then uh, rented some horses and made your way back to Headrun rather quickly before taking a bit of a spa day. Uh, you guys, the the gentlemen of, of the group decided to all go and... Uh, hit up the uh, uh, Kent's uh, be -be -be. don't remember the place it's called but Greenbrow his tavern his spa tavern and uh, get yourselves all cleaned you guys haven't had like a crazy good bath sort of s relaxing moment since you guys probably departed from Hedron in the first place I'm not even sure if you stopped by his place before you left to go to Jolheim. But nonetheless, you guys took a bit of a bit of a spa day. Uh, he, Kurth, sorry, sent Sticky up through the sky as she discovered the magics of a building that's made out of a person, which is a fascinating concept. Um, before you guys decided to go see Mistal at the town hall of Hedron. After a quick conversation with the secretary and moving towards the office of Mistal Lightborn. You guys stepped in and were greeted by Mistal and Mary, who had been waiting with Mistal since she sent the message before saying you guys wanted backup and, and like got her out there. Um, newly, newly dressed up, carrying some artifacts you guys haven't really had time to recognize or pay attention to besides uh, this book that she pulled out that seemed to be tabloids against Valxus and, and talking about his ex, ex, escapades in the Dithronian kingdom. Um, Valxus attempted to take those tabloids, failed miserably, was caught. And then, uh, what Thanks. followed was Mistal acting more caring and motherly than you guys have ever seen in terms of sticky while also being so brutal and so cruel to Foxes at the same time um, before sending you guys off. She, you guys didn't do what you did last time and ask for another quest. She asked whether or not she needed to get involved in whatever you guys were planning as you guys started to reveal a little, little, little bit about what your future plans are. You've discussed possibly going to the Pale Four Nile to the Grand Library for information on liches, specifically the lich that was part of the creation of Ven. Before all that, though, you guys decided you wanted to go shopping, and you took uh, Kilo, I believe, for the first time, and yes. Mary for the first time, and now Sticky for the first time, uh, to the Wispy White, a magic shop you guys have gone to a few times, uh, run by a white, a an undead spectral woman who during one of your previous entrances you found was uh, bound here to be the eternal uh, salesperson for this place on behalf of a rather powerful wizard who you've paid to teleport you places in the past. A man by the name of Kentiro Voe. Nonetheless, you guys are all here to get whatever you would like to get uh, currently, you're all sort of just browsing around. Uh, the white has taken the the bag of holding that was given to her by Drell 
to be returned into a fanny pack of holding because God forbid you have a fucking bag of holding that isn't strapped to your waist. Uh, mm. And you guys are, are sort of just left in this very dark chamber. Enough ambient light to be able to shop around, but the door slammed behind you. Sticky a little, little, little spooked out by the fact that this being like whoosh, through her. Um, and you're all here to shop. Uh, who wants to, uh, who wants to go first in terms of looking around who isn't looking for something specific, AKA not you, Jin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I... Sure, I'll go looking around first. Okay. It was the Tangled Tree Ant. Fuck. I knew I had it somewhere. Uh, that was the name of the tavern. But uh, you specifically were looking for keys, and good for you. There is a, a section dedicated to, to keys. Granted, the section looks a little cleaned out, but there are two keys left on this board that has, like, pegs sticking out, and each key is on a ring or specifically put on one peg on this board. Um, there are two rings. Uh, both of them are listed for 10 platinum a piece. Oh, shit. So... I don't have that. There, there are two yeah. rings. Both are listed for 10 platinum a piece. You can... Uh, if you want, there's, there's names above them, but you would have to use identify to find out exactly what they do or ask when she comes back out with the fanny pack. How much did we get paid again? Are you asking me or are you asking the rest of the party? <laughs> Ooh, I, I don't know because I haven't added it yet. I believe it was 500 ahead of time, 500 afterwards, so a total of 100 platinum. Or, or okay, yeah. Oh, you, 100 platinum? Holy it was shit. 100 platinum, but you were given 50 before you went out because oh, you guys right, yeah. convinced her that you deserved to pay ahead just in case yeah, you died. Yeah. And then she gave you another, yeah. so 500 gold was given after the fact, yeah. and I believe it was given to Drell to, quote, distribute later. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we do have, okay, we what? do have. You have the money? You have the money. You have. I believe yeah, you, you took the money. Moi. Y yes. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> I, I, you guys much, haven't used I it. It was, five, it was 500 gold. Which is 50 plat. 50 plat. Should I add 50 plat to my inventory? Everybody? You can, unless you want to separate it. I mean, it's it's stuff that we know exists, even if you didn't add it to your character sheet. Please, please, please. OOC. Yeah, no, I mean, I, yeah. Just, just add it to yours, and we'll just pull from it as we go. We'll just keep okay. it separate. I don't really care. Yeah. So you cast an identify in either of these, Doxus? Hmm? Sorry, you cast an I'm... identify in either of these these keys? Yeah, yeah. I'll cast. I'll, I'll, there are two I'll keys. For, Their names are I'll there. For Twenty minutes. Thank okay. You, the first key is called the mystery key, and the second key is called oh. the warrior's pass key. Oh. So oh. which one would you like first? Um. I'd like the mystery key. That sounds fun. Okay, one sec. I love gambling. <laughs> <laughs> I love to gamble. Okay, so... Oh, sorry, no, this one... No, this one, the mystery key is not supposed to be that expensive. Hold on. I fucked this up. Mystery oh. key is listed as uh, 40 gold. So four platinum. Uh, this key uh, looks pretty standard. Uh, it's a it's a, a brass key that in the head of the key is is shaped a question mark. Uh, this key has a five percent chance of unlocking any lock in existence that it is inserted into. Five percent chance. Once it does unlock something, it vanishes. <laughs> so <laughs> wait, wait. So, so I, I, I <laughs> any lock, despite doesn't matter if it's magic, doesn't matter if it's an impossible lock. It is a five percent chance of unlocking any lock it's inserted into. So fun. But once it unlocks something, it's gone. Once it unlocks something, it doesn't even disintegrate. It just. That's awesome. That's so fun. God, I love gambling. <laughs> and then the warrior's pass key, because you said you took 20 minutes, and we're just going to have you aside as other things are happening. I'm just gone. Everybody talk. I'm gone. Uh, this is a silver skeleton key that when you reach your hand out and touch it, it's like warm. Like it's radiating a warmth. 
Uh, while you hold this key in its key form, you can use an action to cast knock. Okay? Key form. While holding the key, you can use a bonus action to transform it into a magic ethereal longsword. You're considered proficient with it. You have a plus one to attack and damage it's rolls a made with key it. Blade. It's on, a key blade. On a hit, <laughs> on a hit, the sword deals one d10 force damage flat. There's no bonuses to it. The oh, item will cool remain shit. in sword form until it, you drop it or use another bonus action to refer it back to its key form. If you end your attunement you to money. it while it's in sword form, it goes back to a key. The knock spell has no limits. I'll give you the money. You can use not endlessly. It, 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 there's one hundred percent because I remember. I remember this store. Both of the, either both or I am assuming one of them. It, it, it probably cursed. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> cursed. But... I don't know if you guys. You guys haven't bought anything cursed from this store. My sword. Uh, ye, yeah, but they told you it was cursed ahead of time. It was branded yeah, as cursed, and then you paid for them to remove the curse. Yeah. It wasn't like it was like... It wasn't just on the walls, and then you yeah. guys just fucking had to deal with the curse like, sword. It wasn't, a, it wasn't gave, like yeah. a disclaimer. Like, they didn't say it was cursed. Yeah, true, true, true. okay, okay, okay. There, totally. Is there a disclaimer that either of these are cursed? Nope. Okay, cool. Keyblade sounds sick, bro. Dude, that blade does so cool, Big Keyblade like, guy here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, to be fair, it looks like a normal sword. The hilt just gets covered in, and the hilt is the key encapsulated in like force energy, and then it becomes a normal blade. Can you send me the artwork for that? Weapon yeah, easy. Glorious? I, yeah. I kind of want that. that Let, him cool. Let him see. Let him like... see. I like him. <laughs> then someone would need the fan of the. This is gonna be uh, shitty because I'm not opening it on my phone. I'm just gonna take a picture of my monitor and then send it to you. It's gonna yeah! look. Bad. This is so bad. I just I can't switch yeah. the Discord window. I love Jank. There you go. Him, like, I, I I hope it looks good. I have the wind of the wind waker, <laughs> a wind walker, and I, I, I you don't do have, have a giant fan. It, but like maybe I should just get rid of that and get this. Key. You guys do also have excess shit that you can sell, but you are also holding on to magical items to give back to the dragon at the end of your that year, which you are three months into at this point. Yeah, we Wait, got a year. We got plenty of time. You have eleven months Nine left. Months. Wait, eleven? There's fourteen that's months in the year. Yeah, that's right. That's right. right. I remember now. Why couldn't you Obviously. just make it? God. Why couldn't you just make it like the real world? Because that's not fantasy, Noah. <laughs> yeah. Fourteen months in the year. But it makes it easier for me to remember. Next, we will go to Drell, who has handed off the fanny pack of holding and is now trying to search for gag <laughs> items, magical gag no items. Play. Now, Drell, whoa, you find. On. Whoa, whoa. What? Can we role play a little bit? There's no one here. You gave her the fanny pack and she left. <laughs> Unless you're talking to other party members, go for it. You know, go ahead. No, I wanted to role play looking for the items. Hit me with it, Corey. Go for it. Oh. No, role play looking for them. What are you, what are you looking, looking for? for Isn't there like a shop clerk here? The is white is the clerk. Back. You handed no, her your bag no, of holding. No, like, isn't there like a human? Yeah, He's a powerful a wizard here. who who fucking he bound her this. here to do the business. Man, bro, I'm just gonna start looking behind the counter. That's what I'm gonna <laughs> sure. Do. Okay. Yeah. 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 Don't go behind the counter. Are you man? trying to be discreet or are you doing it just blatantly? No, I'm doing it blatantly. I'm okay. a giant exactly. fucking sure. sapphire dragonborn. Sure. Hold on. I'm gonna try to steal anything. I'm just like, yo, is there any cool shit back here? Like, uh, I need you to make. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw as you get awesome. behind the counter. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I win these. Dude, it's trapped. A thirteen. <laughs> I win these. <laughs> You take four points of force damage as you feel yourself like push back from the oh, behind shit. the counter area. Uh, my bad. I, I just really thought that like you might have like more good stuff. I remember the last time we were here, that guy put out the Who box of all to, that bro? good stuff. <laughs> Who are you I'm talking afraid to? The, I'm afraid of the wispy white's gonna come out from the woodwork. Are you just talking the to the air and saying this? Yeah, okay. I'm just <laughs> rambling. I'm terrified. Okay. <laughs> well, you're nervous rambling. You you probably should just come back, man. You're, you're nervous. Right Do you want to make a perception check to see what you can see from behind the counter at a weird angle before you were like force pressed? Yeah. yeah sure, yeah, go for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I win these. <laughs> a thirteen. Um, <laughs> behind the counter, you see like a a chest that seems to be like 
like he's you've seen them pull out this chest before it's kind of like how they make change or where they store the the funds that are paid to them for stuff it's left behind there so it makes sense that you couldn't get to it uh, additionally there's shelves like lining the inside of the counter that just have all sorts of different vials and potions of different colors hey di didn't we get that little ladder from here did we? I can't remember. <coughs> I think so. Where the fuck is that guy that has that 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 little ladder? Little little ladder man. Sorry, I'm focusing on something. What? <laughs> <laughs> so did we get the little ladder from here? Yeah. Who has that? I do. You had that this whole time. I've had it the whole time. He just yeah. pulls it out of a pocket. It's smaller than his hand. It just. <laughs> Can I give you Why? Like can I hang on to that Uh Corey how much was the ladder I don't remember dude that was oh, don't, I was Make ago. it roll for it Make it roll for it, it. Like This is dog three? shit No it was more than three it's a magical <laughs> ladder it was like shit, 10, no. I thought it was like ten gold like one, I will give you three gold for, for it Do you eight <laughs> gold Take it nine. I think it's worth I'll make it nine gold, and that's yours. Sure. Okay, cool. How, how lucky do you feel? What? <laughs> All right, buddy. What's happening? I pull out, I pull out my silver pouch. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. I, I pull out nine silver, and I hand it to you. You don't it's even like need to gold. roll. You know it's nine silver. I said gold. <laughs> oh, fuck. My bad. Wait, you don't even know what gold and silver is? <laughs> no, we went over this. You I understand. Guys, you don't, you you don't guys know the help, values of remember, these things. Remember maybe? when my pouch exploded and we helped like collect all my coins in the individual pouches? Like, yeah. I have four pouches of all the coins. And you and don't I know which like, one's which. Still no. <laughs> I, uh, I... I go no, it's it's the it, I I point to the pouch that has his gold and I go it's that way it, it's the the fourth one on the left. Isn't that all of your money in the bag of holding that you now don't have? Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I'm just I'm just this whole this whole bit is me checking my pockets and I can't find my money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just have the have the ladder. I don't I don't care. I don't care enough. <laughs> I take the ladder. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I no you? longer have the pocket <laughs> ladder. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I go back to identifying my keys. That was fucking sick, dude. I got that through role play. <laughs> Are you doing anything else, Noah? No, I'm waiting for. I, I thought. I thought like. You aren't gonna go look for other stuff. I mean, like, yeah, I'll go wandering around looking for magic items. What have Corey? What what gag items are there? Is there like a, like what what, what is there like a, a a hole that I can put on the ground and it just takes me somewhere? No. Um. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you you find in a in a separate section of the store, uh, a a shelf that has two just just bags just like these little little velvet bags one is one is green one is purple uh you find another section that has a a series of 10 uh candles that all look identical and they all are listed as 10 gold a piece wait what the fuck is this and then you find uh on its own like in a in a little display case a uh a little like almost like unnaturally smooth stone with a swirling blue inlay. Ooh, I go to that thing, the stone, the blue okay. inlay. It's listed as something called the cleansing stone. Huh. Troll just looks at it. I don't know what the fuck that means. It looks cool. It sounds cool. It's a thing for sure. What about those candles? They're listed as candles of the deep. Candles of the deep? Mm -hmm. I smell them. Sounds like a sure, they smell like wax. 
What do you mean? Like, they're not scented? No. This is a fantasy world, and I can't have a scented candle. I didn't say you don't. I'm not saying you can't have a scented candle. I'm saying that these magical candles aren't scented. What if you just don't smell it? True. I have COVID, bro. What was the first thing? The two bags? Yeah. How much are the bags? What are the bags? Uh, one bag. Bags one bag is listed as seventy-five gold, and it's called a bag of beans. And then another bag oh! is two hundred and fifty gold, and it's called the bag of tricks. Oh! Bag of beans. Wait, how much is the bag of beans? Uh, seventy-five gold. And the other one's two fifty. Yes. Oh. I'm gonna wait for the white. I want to ask you some questions. Okay. Um. I have. What's in the bag of tricks? And she's gonna go. I can't tell you that. <laughs> sure. Uh. That's what she sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Sure it does. Um. What the fuck? <laughs> anyone else searching for something specifically? Uh. Yeah. Drew, I know you were looking for a ring of protection, correct? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's a whole section, multiple ring of protection plus ones. Like, is there any cool looking ones? Uh, the rings of protection are a very specific enchantment. The ring itself looks like it has a uh, a golden bordered uh, shield with these uh, teal gems laid out through the base of the shield. Uh, but you know that if you wear a magical item and are attuned to a magical item, it will reshape to whatever. So even if a ring looks small, technically it can be worn. I do like teal. Okay. And those are going for 100 gold. Okay, that's not bad. I'll keep an eye on that one, but I'm going to go look at like weapons or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mary, you said you wanted armor? Yeah. You don't find any, like, plain armor, just, like, non-magical plain armor. What you do find is a section, like a, a, a rack of armor that are, it's one of every type of armor you could imagine. Like, every, every type of, like, you know, leather, studded leather, whatever. Um... But all of them are on this rack, and above this rack is like a banner that says "Armor of Gleaming." <gasps> oh, really? I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go thrifting. I, I know what that is. Uh, depending on the type of armor you get, they range anywhere from a hundred gold to two hundred and fifty gold. Oh, um, what's the uh, what's the hundred gold option? Hide, <laughs> which is a uh, twelve Hide? plus dex. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take a looky loo at that. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's a it's weird. Hide you wouldn't expect you wouldn't expect hide armor to be shiny, right? But it looks like because of whatever enchantments in here, there's like metal like filigree, like almost like metal threads that were made to be used to sew the pieces of leather together, so that the armor itself does give off a shine. Oh my god. It's beautiful. I, uh, where did that lady go? I don't know, but it's freaking me out. Where, where is she gonna come back? Oh, she's well, just gonna appear. She's this is still right within right the first here. 20 minutes. Valxus is not done identifying. You guys are all <laughs> just kind of like doing your own thing at the same time. Uh, and she went off to transform a bag of holding into a fanny pack of holding, which takes a little bit of time. What do you guys think these? Oh like, my goodness, she's gonna. Bag of beans. Ba what? There's a thing that says bag of beans over here. A bag of a bag of beans? Yeah. Like magical beans? Are you? Uh, I think I read a book about those. Wait, really? About magical beans? Yeah, there's beans? like What's a in the book. <laughs> I do you you plant the beans and you climb the stalk and there's a golden chicken up there. Wait, really? Yes, what does golden it's... chicken taste like? We can oh, find out. Man. It's only seventy-five I... gold. I'm I'm totally on on board. 
<laughs> in the meantime, uh, Mary's gonna pick up the gleaming hide armor and carry it around, kind of like as like waiting you just for drape the lady it over your back. arm, like you're carrying around yeah. a coat. Yeah, exactly. Try that armor on. Try it on. Uh, does anyone else have identify and want to like try to find out what some of this yeah. stuff does? Because it's a it's a ritual spell, so you can just cast it. It takes that. a bit though. Um, so yeah, you what do you that. what do you huh? I don't have identify, so I can't. I'm just kind of walking around. I don't around. have identified either. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why I, I just do. said, wow, that's Do you cool. want to use it, Sticky? Yeah. Okay, so Sticky, oh. normally Identify requires a, uh, a an expensive, like, pearl of some kind, right? You use Skittle. Mm -hmm. In his <laughs> non-bug form, you pick him up and are able to gaze through the, the gemstone that makes up, like, the core of his head and identify the magical uses of spells through him. And it is not something you have to use a spell slot for. You have ritual casting. It just takes an additional 10 minutes if you're going to do ritual casting. Um, what are you identifying right. first? The bag of beans? Yeah, I want to identify the bag of beans. Okay. Uh, inside this, <laughs> inside yeah. this bag are 3D4 dry beans. The bag weighs about half a pound plus a fourth of a pound for each bean inside. So we'll, if you do buy it, we will roll how many beans are inside. If you dump the beans out, if you dump the beads out, they will explode in a 10 foot radius extending out from the beans. Each creature in the area needs to make a dexterity saving throw or take 5d4 fire damage if they fail. Uh, the fire ignites all flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or, car worn or carried. If you remove a bean from the bag, you plant it in dirt or sand and then water it. In a minute, the bean will produce an effect from the ground where it was planted. I choose the effect based on a D100 roll. <laughs> Beans. Cool. Beans. What Beans. happens if I eat one? Oh, oh bro, inside oh your my stomach. God. Did you? Did I you, love science. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was told as a kid growing up. You eat too many seeds, they grow in your Corey, stomach. You, you have an apple what tree. What you giggling about? What's so funny Nothing. Uh, you guys don't own the bag of beans, so you can't find yeah. out what they do. I want to know. I want if you buy that one, can we can we eat it? You It'll make you hard one. too, maybe. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, the magical oh. fruit! It makes you too. Wait, what if we cook them and eat them? <laughs> I want to see what happens. Castle. Maybe I'll have like a like a like a tail that'd be made of like like a vine or something. That'd be pretty neat. Ooh. <laughs> Or maybe I could have like plants come out of my like my stomach or something. That'd be. You want to be like a philion? <laughs> a philion? You have plants coming out of your stomach? You look over to philion and for the first time really notice that he is wearing a suit of armor that is <laughs> adhered to his skin as vines are growing in and out of parts of his body. Yeah. He's covered it's... in vines. You ate a bean? I did not eat a bean. <laughs> Oh. How'd that happen? <laughs> I put this on and it hasn't come off since. That was a good one. That was a good one, Sticky. So you put on a bean and it just didn't come off? No, this used to be almost like clothing and I put it on and it stuck to me and I, it hasn't come off since. Have you tried removing it? Um... I Fair think the point. first couple of times that when I was trying to it just hurt. clean up, you can. Um, I tried, but no, I never really bother with it because it hurts a lot. Does that mean that you can never be naked? <laughs> He's a never nude. Holy Probably. shit, that's true, man. How do you pee? Oh, you just I mean, go to the bathroom. I don't think that's such like a big deal. To, no, I. In your vines. <laughs> Is that how you water them? <laughs> It's a fair question. It's not. It, uh. There, <laughs> it's just for this top half mainly, and then I still have like the pants underneath. Have you tried? But the vines kind of the vines kind of grew around it, oh. like around the leg. So. Okay, so there's still room for you to be able to go pee. Yes, there is room. So you're kind of like wearing like. Vine chaps, so you can pee and poop. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's the best way I could describe it. 
Hey, Corey, how did episode 70 go? Ah, they were in a magic shop and they were just talking about the logistics of a person who has vine armor and his ability to piss and shit, you know? (laughs) Generic stuff. Nobody ever talks about pissing or shitting. Very important. Are we identifying any of the other items I've already disclosed? Do you want the other bag identified? That'd be cool. That'd be nice. Uh... Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Uh... (laughs) This is this is seemingly an ordinary bag, uh, made from like a rust-colored uh, cloth mixed with like a purple. Uh, it appears empty, the way you're looking at it. Uh, but when you reach inside the bag, there's something small and fuzzy. Mm-hmm. You can use an action to pull the fuzzy object from the bag and throw it 20 feet, up to 20 feet. When the object lands, it transforms into a creature, determined by a D8 roll. Uh, I, based on the you know this is specifically a rust bag, so there's specific items for a rust colored bag. There's three types of bags. Grab it in a hat. Uh, I thought you said it was purple. It. The, I'm saying rust in terms of what you'd be rolling for because there's three colors. And oh. I said the bag was purple, but it's purple with like a the way the way rust becomes that like oh. deep reddish. Whatever, we're doing like a deep reddish purple. Um, no, you're fine. I was just like, wait, yeah. I thought you said it's a purple. They bag. run gray, they run gray, rust, and tan. Fuck that, it's purple. Uh, but we're using terms of rust for this, if you were to add it to your inventory. Um, okay. But it transforms into that creature, and then you can use that creature as, as, a, as a monster. Um, it, the creature will vanish at the next dawn, or if it hits zero hit points. The creature's friendly to you and your companions. It acts on your turn. You can use a bonus action to command it or give it orders, such as attack, uh, such as attacking enemies. In the absence oh, of the orders, Pokemon. it acts in a fashion it thinks is, it'll just do whatever it thinks is right. It's like a Pokemon. Once three <laughs> fuzzy objects have been pulled from the bag, you can't use it again until the next dawn. I can do it three times a day? Yes. And the, uh, uh, the, the creatures that it could be are a rat, an owl, a, a mass, rat. a mastiff, a goat, a giant oh. goat, oh. a giant boar, oh. a lion, or oh. a brown bear, depending on how you roll your d8. Nice. I hope it's a rat, because rats drive me crazy. <laughs> We're not doing this. <laughs> We're not doing this. Uh, <laughs> and then now that uh, I mean I'm gonna say Aphilion, are you actively trying to do anything? Ben, I know you were looking for things to nullify magic. That is extremely like that's a very powerful thing to be searching for. The only thing you can uh, gather is like a dispel magic scroll. So a scroll hmm. of dispel magic. There isn't like, you know, you don't have like a. a a circlet of anti-magic field. You don't have like, you know, there's nothing, nothing in here that can, that's, a, it's an extremely powerful thing to have in a magic shop that's on the road. Why did a roll 20 close? It's not been open I this whole time. I don't know. Um, <laughs> let me see. But yeah, I would say, I would say so, what you can find is a scroll of dispel magic. Is there anything with like, counter spell or like other abjurative like uh, things effects, so you know? counter spell no what else would you be looking for like like s- more protection from a spell or like like because like you know like almost like the like you know the opposite of magic missile is but it's like very specific to magic missile but kind of like general like that where it's like <sighs> Like, not like a nullification, but like an oh shit, you know, pull out a back pocket kind of reaction thing, you know? Mm hmm. I will get back to you on that and possibly retcon, but that is something that I am, I am not able to come up with immediately. Because <laughs> no I'm trying to think of what. what that would be i mean besides like scrolls of protection where you get to like choose the type of being you want resistance against right um and like you like valxus has his ring of mind shielding which gives him resistance to 
psychic damage, right? What's that? You 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 got it in your magical <laughs> deal, and no one's been able to get into your head unless you've allowed them to, and you have resisted. So I feel like it's known by the group at this point that you have that, right? Okay, <laughs> like I'm pretty sure. Like, don't fuck oh, with me well here. Known. It's well known by the group that I have it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, like counterspell is already such a massive deal that like a scroll of counterspell to be used as a reaction. I'd say there's a scroll of counterspell in here. How you want to find a way to manipulate that could be up to you. Well, I, I have counterspell, you know? <laughs> sure. Then I'm just, I'm trying to, so you're trying <laughs> to get like something that's like you can use a reaction to get a resistance to a type of damage. Or, yeah. or like, or like counterspell without counterspell so you don't use the spell slot? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm trying to trying to gather what you're it's going for here. <laughs> anti-magic in general. Anti-magic is really expensive in the world and really rare and really powerful because it's like, I'm pretty, isn't anti-magic, like anti-magic cone it's a is like a beholder spell. thing? Like an- uh, Yeah, beholders have- Anti-magic. Right. Anti-magic. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Because anti-magic field is an eighth level spell. And there's something I could put in here, but you're not going to be able to afford it. But it could be a thing you think about coming back for eventually. <laughs> um, What type of armor are you provisioning? Um, light. Okay. In with the other pieces of, of clothing and cloaks and stuff, like cloaks of protection, like that are, you know, plus one DRC, the armor of gleaming that's on that whole rack. There is in a, what you think is a glass frame, right? Like a glass pane, like it's behind, you think it's like a display case. But as you get closer to it, you don't even need to roll for it. You recognize that it's like a, um, almost like a wavering force field. And inside of that force field is what seems, it starts off looking like uh, leather, like, like padding. But as you get closer, you see that each individual thread almost seems to be resonating with a rainbow of colors. And it, like on a golden plaque that is nailed to the top of the case, you see anti-magic armor, but there is no cost next to it. This is something you need the store owners to grab a key and go unlock for you. Right. If you're going to purchase it. The call button for help. Yeah. Call for help button. <laughs> I steal it now. <laughs> you, I, uh, I mean. <laughs> you I can put it on fast enough, try. you know. If you guys want to try shit, you can try shit, but uh, I, I can't yeah, promise I you how that. that'll go. Um, he is a very powerful wizard. But outside of that, I would say there is a there is a a scroll. There are a few scrolls of dispel magic and a few scrolls of counter spell. Uh, there are no scrolls of anti magic field. Um, that's, that's a powerful spell. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. All good. Maybe. maybe uh, the scrolls of counter spell do come in level varieties, though. Same with dispel magic. So the more expensive the scroll of counterspell, the higher the level of counterspell it comes out default. Anyways, uh, anyone else looking for anything in here before we get back to the white coming out with the fanny pack and all of the, the two separate sections of identify being used? Is there a section of little poison vials not poison vials, but there is a uh, sort of a, a section of different oils and filters. Oh. Uh, and they're all in vials. They're not poison. None of these are labeled as like physically dangerous. Um, but the ones that stand out to you are labeled as uh, oil of slipping and filter of love. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to see the fil well, you said filter of love. Yes, filter of love. P H I L T R. T E R, sorry. I would like to see that. Sure. Is there is there a label? 
saying it's filter of love. It's it looks That's like it? a a swirling. Uh, there's like s- silvery glitter in a in a pink viscous liquid. Does it have a price? Uh, yeah, the filter of love is labeled as fifteen gold. Word, I'm gonna snag that too and just kind of carry it with me and wait until the white comes back. Sure. Does anyone want the oil of slipping? Okay. Uh, uh, so I'm, t- I'm tempted, but I'm good. the only other thing, that, the only other stuff you guys find in here. There's a section that has a couple of movable rods. If you want an immovable rod, um, an immovable rod could be really fun if we're on wait, 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 wait. Yeah. How much is <laughs> that? An immovable it could be rod. Really is fun if we're on an airship again. Seventy-five wait, wait. gold for an immovable rod. Oh, <laughs> I can afford it. <laughs> we have a thousand gold, guys. Don't, we have a don't. thousand. We just got Plus a thousand. Stucky has one platinum. <laughs> we just got 500. <laughs> what? Well, we got, we no, got he's a saying a thousand because you guys got 500 before you left uh, and 500 uh, now. Uh, yeah. So there is a total of a thousand gold. Well, you also bought horses on the way out and bought horses on the way back. Or and rented horses, horses on the way back. And that was and a lot of gold. And you bought the sword. Well, but I'm we saying like, you guys, you guys dispersed the <laughs> first 500 amongst yourselves. Right? Yes. 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 Which means that whatever chunk of that was with Marador is gone. Mary yeah. doesn't have a chunk of that. Sticky doesn't have a chunk of that. You guys bought Lefty and Righty. You purchased them. They were your uh-huh. horses on the way out. <laughs> yeah, I am aware. And then you rented horses it. on the way back, which was another 100 gold. <laughs> so yeah. you guys have spent quite a bit of money in your time since you got your first 500. Listen. You now have a fresh 500 on top of that. Okay, so I we want have 500 the, gold. I want the bag of beans. <laughs> I okay. will. I have my own you money. I'm gonna buy the bag of beans. You need to keep in your minds what you guys want, and we will do the full price breakdown at the end, and I'll go through each of you. But I would man, also... that a move that a movable rod sounds fucking sick. If there's, I would like to look for uh, if there are any more new magical magical instruments. I know I didn't tell you this, but that is always something I'm looking for. Hey, hang on, but, real quick. Uh, what does that a movable rod do? You uh, click it, and it, it sits it. in place in space. And cannot does not move. Doesn't move. It does not move. It is immovable. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want that. It's such a good gag. <laughs> so if you're on an airship and you click the button, <laughs> yes, like it would tear. It would tear through the wood. Yeah. It's like that one scene from Invincible, the train. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Um, one second. I'm looking to see if I have any more instruments that I put aside. I'm going to be honest. If you have to keep attuning to instruments, you're going to run out of spots for instruments. I have no, f- I, dude, I already have so many shits that try to, that's attunement and I, I can't use. I mean, I really don't need, I just, I just, I don't know. Ugh. I just, I just like, like I just like Windows. I just like having. I like being able to switch spells. And there I can't do is that as a bard. one. Ooh. Oh my god! What Ooh, you what see, you see in the corner, like in the corner. It is like leaning up against the corner so that it doesn't like fall over. Uh-huh. What looks like someone took the biggest bongos you've ever seen, oh. turned them sideways attached a wooden handle and strung guitar strings across the top of the bongos as the bongos are the head, and then it goes up. It looks like it can only be picked up by like Kilo or you if you roll the craziest strength check. It looks like a great mall or like a war club. That's That's sick. That's awful. Oh, that's so. And cool. there's a there's a there's like a a plate at the base of it where it's sitting on like a podium and it's called the blunt <laughs> instrument. The blunt instrument. <laughs> I want to identify it. I want to know what it does. Yeah, this is now. a uh, this is a large musical instrument reinforced and fitted to generate wondrous sound as well as bludgeon enemies. It's versatile in the form it can take. It can be crafted uh, as a number of different large instruments, but they have to be large. So it can be either like a giant horn or a drum or a bagpipes. This was designed to be a drum oh tar, you know. This weapon deals an additional 1d8 thunder damage whenever you hit an enemy with it. And while attuned to this weapon, you are considered proficient with whatever type of weapon it is. Uh, so for you... Well, I would be proficient. You would be proficient, yeah. 
Uh, if you use this instrument as a spell casting focus to cast any spell that deals thunder damage, you can reroll any one you use or run you roll. Like if you roll a one, you reroll ones. Uh, you must use the new roll. If you're proficient with the form of instrument that the weapon is, anytime you cast a spell that deals thunder damage, they have to make a con save or become deafened for a minute. What is the, what is the instrument? Uh, drums. Or you know, we'll just run it with drums. If you don't have a drum proficiency, you ain't got I it. Yeah, just, I'm not, you can I'm not see uh, it might cost you some money, but you can see about getting it transformed into either. I don't know if you have, if you're proficient with any of these, a dulcimer, bagpipes, or a horn. No, none of those. Nope. You aren't proficient with large instruments, um, my guy. It does not matter. I I turn my focus back to the keys. Okay. Anywho, uh. Coming back out with a newly designed fanny pack of holding, the strap like looks like it's more heavy duty than before. There's a nice little like golden belt buckle so that it perfectly goes around your waist, Drum. Uh, she comes back with the fanny pack of holding and then just like turns her long clawed fingers towards you and holds out the fanny pack. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. It's free as always. Is there anything else for you all? Um. And what about these beans? And you see she... <laughs> and it's like, it starts Bang. slow as she wisps, and then suddenly she's just shooting across the room through the shelves until she's standing above <laughs> the beans and displaying her hands over the beans. These beans. Yeah, those ones. Yeah, seventy-five gold. Well, I got a question for you. I have an answer. Okay, what happens if you eat one of them? I wouldn't know. Would you like to buy them and find out? And kind of a little bit, but at the same time, I, I stop my mind. Oh, I got a question for you. I have another answer for you. Do you sell friends? <laughs> the facade what? for a moment. She just get like, it's hard to see an undead spirit woman become like confused. Perplexed. Yeah. There is so much confusion behind those empty eyes. We can sell scrolls of finding familiars, and maybe the master can make you a golem. Uh, I don't know what any of those things are. I, I just, I just want friends. Those can be friends. Anyone else? I'm looking uh, to see if you. Okay, go ahead. You're good. No, 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 no you're, you're good. good. Go for it. Pop off, no, no, go King. For it, go for it. Okay. You got your thing in your <laughs> hand. Go ahead, Mary. Go ahead. Um, um, what is what is what is this? What does this do? Can I know? What are you holding up? The hide armor. Ah, you've pulled the armor of gleaming. You will stay perpetually clean while you wear it. Uh, impossible to stain. The blood of your enemies runs off like nothing. Oh my god, that's so good. That's so perfect. Okay, and what about this? And she holds up the vial. Ah, the filter of love. The next time you see someone after you drink it, you become enamored and charmed by them for one hour. If yeah. the creature is something you're normally attracted to, it will be regarded as your true love. Um, can this be in, uh, administered intravenously? Huh? The being does, does not have to be willing. 
It's just whoever consumes. So if I metaphorically um, put this onto a dart, and then the dart punctured somebody else, <laughs> would this be viable? The entire filter needs to be consumed. And it's ten minutes within drinking. Got it. So that would need to be a really big dart. Okay. Word. As Understood. As long as it is entering the stomach and digested. Okay. That's all I needed. Thank you. As we drank. <laughs> okay. Scary Wayne. Is Scary that Wayne. me? <laughs> yeah, that's you. <laughs> oh, shit. She... Right up to your face. Yes. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um. So I, I wanted to see if um maybe you got like you got any you got any like babies maybe like an egg. <laughs> we have many eggs that have not been. Discerned? Can I have one? For how much? Uh, um, yes. Hmm. Be right back. Okay. She leaves the room. <gasps> oh my god, are you going to get a pet? She's gonna get me a pet! I'm gonna get a pet! I'm gonna get oh my an egg! Oh my god, if she has. I'm gonna. I'm oh, so hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We, we don't need another. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> what? I'm, we I'm, I'm bamboozled. Oh, Bamboozle's yeah. gonna be so jealous. Uh, <laughs> we already have We already just, have a buddy. We already who's have the buddy? a buddy. I never met a buddy. What buddy? Uh, his name's Bamboozle. And, uh, who's that? He's very smart. Very he's the fucking best. Sentient. He is, <laughs> like, he is so awesome, bad. man. He's going to be really big. But where is it? <laughs> yeah, actually, where is Bamboozle, Mary? Uh, uh yeah, uh, where is where is Bamboozle? Well, I guess that's the same thing. Uh, like the rest of the party knows that Bamboozle went off to the Empire and is currently just fucking chilling with Valxus's dad and Stool in the tower back home. Like, they just, he just. He, he took the airship back up to the winter lights because they had used it to drop off Mary and Bamboozle, but Bamboozle didn't feel comfortable like staying with Mary and her family and contacted the party at one point to be like, I'm on my way back to the, to the Empire. I'll be with Vax's right. dad and stool. Uh, tell Valxus I'm using his room. So he's currently living in Valxus's room. Right. You guys don't know how big he is. It's been like two months since you've seen him at this point. Uh, the roundest whoa. snake thing ever. So, just for the, my own knowledge, he's not around. No. Does anyone here have like so, minor I illusion or something? Um. No, nah, that was Umbrick. Damn. Uh, illusion, illusion, illusion. I'm just trying to see if, if one of you can make up like what this thing looks like to her, so that I can give B like the concept of what Bamboozle no, is. Not. I don't. Um. Okay. Oh, Jin has. A monster book. I'm sure you could. Look that sure. Page. Yeah. 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 Um, it would be considered a celestial, so it wouldn't be a monster. Monster. Uh, but because because yeah, yeah, Jin has a a, a book a, a uh, that he's been sort of designing as well as one like adding to, but it's like his textbook. Uh, and he flips open through the celestials and starts flipping, flipping, flipping. You get to a page where in like it's two pages. One side is the description. The other side, the entire page. Uh, to you, Sticky, what you're seeing is. The, Ooh, how do I explain it? I also have to remember how to fucking spell this because it's weird. It's called a quaddle. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a quaddle. I just don't know how to spell. Okay, I found it. Is it with a Q or is it an X? Uh, it's it's C O U A T L. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so a quaddle. Uh, I'm finding an image to send to you, Sticky. <laughs> So that you can mm -hmm. see what this thing looks like. Um, they are giant serpents, no legs, that have wings 
instead of arms that are feathered. Uh, yep. I'm going to copy an image and put it in handouts for you. I fought one of these in World of Warcraft. There's a dungeon with one of these. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, a full-size like one. Thing. They found a baby. Oh, my Just God. And... Just a little guy. Okay. Got it. That's cute. So, oh, give me yeah, one I'm, I'm going to get a pet. I'm so excited for you. I'm excited for me, too. I've always wanted to have a pet. Just know there are a lot of responsibility. Yeah, there are a lot. And uh, now, what was go it to like really dangerous places. Bamboozle? Uh, bamboozle? Like bamboozle fun? Bamboozle was like having a whole other person around, but in a snake yeah. form. He's very smart. And he had a little pocket dimension that he could go to. Yeah. He had. He had. had. I said Somebody had. Somebody made yeah. sure that was uh, done away with. <laughs> yeah. Who? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, just for your context, Sticky, and what they're describing to you, how much information you reserve is up to you. But uh, this being was able to speak to everyone telepathically especially with the capacity to go over long distances um, and can speak every language imaginable and was talking to them as if it was a person and had the ability to oh. change shape to be at the time a person or another animal if need be, but it was a small, small, small quaddle. So at the uh, time. Okay. Yeah, but I could get a pet and then because you guys got one and I didn't get one. <laughs> Why is it always about what we had? Because you guys have all been together a long time and, uh, you know, I'm sad because my friend left and my dad left and everybody's leaving and I'm going to just, I would like to have it's okay, a you pet. Can. You I have us, that. though. We got each other together. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I. I would just really encourage not another pet until we get back. <laughs> Maybe not one that's that talks. Okay. We're just well, going to an area where, you know, Listen, we don't know Stiggy, if they'll even like you pets. You have to be able to handle him. That's the rule. No bigger than you. <laughs> the egg no bigger than her? <laughs> yeah. Well, what okay. if it's an ostrich? <laughs> oh, okay, no. good to know. No, uh, no, no, you can take this out of context. No bigger than you. I will, I will talk. I will talk this down. <laughs> In the four eight hundred gold owlbear egg. I know. Good to me. Uh, I am not telling you guys what you're getting. <laughs> okay. Um, funny. I'm gonna have Sticky kind of sitting there waiting patiently, like a perfect little angel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> while she waits for the egg to arrive. Hands behind her back, clasp. Yes. <laughs> Feet together, back straight, smiling. Is she doing that thing where she like bounces like rocks forward and back? Yes. Yeah. Is she kicking yeah, 100%. her feet? Well, she's no. standing, so. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm trying to take banana bread out of the oven. You're fine. You're good. You're good. Banana bread. Uh, D and D. <laughs> I I just really I think it'd be fun. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's even got the good split on the top. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the good um, shit right there. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> so uh, if no one else is doing anything, just. <sighs> slower this time, carrying in her hands about, like, this is how she's carrying it, is an egg that looks like it's made out of, uh, like, a purple gemstone. Oh, fuck. A singular purple gemstone. It's wait, not, wait, 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 wait. you can't see through it. It is, <laughs> like, is it? the, like, like, this bigger than my head, but oh, it's can be held massive. in both hands. Can be held That's in both fine. hands. That's fine. Um, you you don't see through it. It is like a cloudy gem. There's no, like, there's just like this darkness in the center 
of it that like as you look around it, it stays dark, almost like you're looking at the core of a gem. And it's an egg. It, it's not perfectly round the way eggs normally are. Like it's not oblong. It's like rigid. You know, it looks like a gem. It looks like she's handing you a giant gem. Whoa! Oh my god. Quick question. For me or Would for I the character? To, <laughs> okay. Would I be able to do either, this is up to you, nature or insight check on it to figure out like... Um, the first time I've ever seen it. I'd let you do a nature check. Yeah. An insight check would just tell you whether or not there's a living being inside, probably. Yeah. Seventeen. A seventeen. The the rigidity of the shell almost looks like scales so whatever's going to come out of here will probably be some type of lizard snake mm -hmm. being something with scales because mm. the egg being scaled usually leads to the creature inside being scaled yeah how big do you think that thing's gonna uh. get on? <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> Does, does Jim recognize the egg at all from his past mm, monster nope. manual? Uh, <laughs> no one here recognizes this egg. As she looks, as she looks towards Sticky, she egg. goes to like hand it down to you and goes, I have spoken to the master and we will give this to you for free. But, <laughs> but, oh my. When it hatches, you are required to study it and return to us information on whatever type of creature comes out. So oh my God, you don't know what's in there? Huh? God, dude. I didn't hear what you said. So, uh, you don't. So you you, you don't know what what's in there? No, the master prides himself on finding strange and curious creatures from all the dimensions and taking research for himself to distribute later in a more sophisticated, well-written form. Mary is hurriedly sketching okay. this in her book. She's... <laughs> How close so... would it be to hatching? What is it for you? I wanna, uh, can I hold we it? We do not know, that's the mystery. Why is it free? Why is it free? Because you're trading oh, the studies, the information. Seems so scary. Oh, you, you study animals and stuff, right? Jin. She's talking to Jin. Jin. Sorry, I didn't hear, what? <laughs> <laughs> she said, Jin, you it. study animals and stuff, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, but I, I don't even know we what the fuck this is. We could study this thing and we could get it for free. To be fair, it's not free as you're trading us the research on it. And if something were to happen to it before it were to hatch, or before all information could be gathered, there would be a Fee. Why did you say it like that before all information? Okay, how gathered? much is the fee? Because I would not want the master to only gather information on something that has only been witnessed in its infancy. Sticky, please, please, Sticky, please. No, uh, Sticky. Sticky, no. What? <laughs> sticky, the I know, I know. will be determined by the master sticky. depending on what the creature inside is when it reaches an I, inevitable end, I, if it were to reach one. Oh my god. I, I, I get down on one knee and I go right down to Sticky's He's level. He's proposing! <laughs> Someone no, watch no, 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 no. I get to Sticky's level like I'm talking to a child here because uh -huh. this is this is detrimental to the group right <laughs> Jin, now. Drell becoming <laughs> sensible are some of my Jin favorite moments of this right campaign. Next to Drell on this. <laughs> go for it. Listen, listen, I Sticky. don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't. What do you mean? I, I don't think it's a good idea because it's free and there's weird implications behind it and hear me out 
I've done some weird deals with weird implications Nick behind is the it. the guy who's done weird deals. <laughs> as <laughs> Sticky, as they're saying Dude, this, rubbing dry as shoulder. they're saying this, the white is slowly floating forward <laughs> and getting her face closer and closer to Drell's no! with a smile locked in. Like she's just <laughs> zooming, like slowly moving towards Drell, just. Sticky, please. <laughs> Sticky, please. I mean, Come on, it'll be fun. You said you wanted a new friend. Stop listening to her. We can go to like any other pet store than a magic shop. Says the dude who went and grabbed a fucking black market Shut koala. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. This is meta information. <laughs> uh, I... Okay, look at me. Oh God. Okay, Sticky. How bad do you want this egg? Shut up! Don't compromise. <laughs> no, I didn't hear how bad. <laughs> I'm gonna have. Uh, is Hick, is Sticky holding the egg at this point? No, she, she still has it in her hand. She's not handing it over okay. until you agree to the oh. to the deal. Sticky's gonna kind of look at the egg, and oh, then sticky, look at them, <laughs> and then be like. I know you guys don't want me to. Oh, sticky, please. <laughs> but it'll, I, just... I mean, think about it this way. Education oh, is the one please. thing. Oh, oh, sticky, no, listen. Education <laughs> is the one thing that nobody can take away from you. Oh, but no, actually, a lot of people can take information away from you. You can get tortured and you can get killed, and no information will be with you ever again. There's, but there's you also a lot have of ways. The information, as long as you're alive. Sticky, 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 sticky. Oh, sticky. Fuck. Oh. Okay. It's the worst that could happen, guys. I I'm guess for not, me. I'm not taking care of this one. Okay, I'll make a deal. I'll make a deal with you, Sticky. Okay. Not taking care of this fucking group pet. If you want to take care of this and you want me to help you research it, you have to be on top of taking care of this thing. <laughs> okay. Sticky's I'm talking child. on top of it. I'm talking. This is an egg here that me you're gonna Jin have to keep warm. Are, <laughs> yes. Me and are now in parenthood for Sticky. Just, <laughs> I just want to say. Uh, off the record right now, this very second, the way that Corey dealt with that pig yeah, I don't so like shows that me shit. shows me that whatever the fuck is in that egg is gonna be a really bad time. <laughs> Which is why we should do it. That's Look, why I kinda it. wanna do it. Oh. You, think you have to promise me you'll take care of this. Can you even carry that thing? If we were to walk, could you carry that? I could carry it for a right. long period of time. Or yeah, can, I can. can make, I can make myself like a little backpack or something. I can carry it around, or I can yeah. carry it on my front. I could. Uh, I could do all kinds of stuff with it, and it could be like my baby. Did you guys ask me? Like you're invested in this too, Mary. Are you invested in this thing? I'm pretty invested. Not gonna lie. Did, did we, you? Did, we what? did you ask what the fee would be if something bad happens to it? Okay. No. Okay. You know yeah, what? I did no? ask. Okay. I did ask. You no. did. I thought I heard you did, did, but then you guys yeah. started going at each other, so I didn't know if you wanted to keep going with it. If Mary helps you too, I'm in. If Mary helps you too, I'm in. I'm what so is the thing? Oh, are we talking to me now? Mm. Yeah, no, I, I asked before, but then we got talking. What's the thing? That depends on whatever comes out of the egg. The highest fee that the master has charged for something. And she like stares off for a second. Excruciatingly valuable. Why the fuck? <laughs> uh, was 1,000 platinum. Ooh. So up what, what to, do we consider to be extreme? to 1,000 platinum. It was the egg of one of the rarest dragons in the world. Made of Someone... solid crystal. Oh, actually, you know what? This might help if we if it is a dragon. Oh my god. I've never really learned about it. And I'd be kind of interested in learning about it if it is. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Don't mention it. 
Because she has got something like that, and this Jin, could be Jin, good for Jin, me. Hold, Jin, hold on. Jin, my, selfish, Jin, my ego's Jin, coming involved Jin, in this. Here, <laughs> sidebar, sidebar, sidebar. Yeah. Come here, Jin. <laughs> yeah. I'm whispering this, but I'm not Jin keeping my Jin is leaned tone. over. He's leaned in tight. Listen, uh -huh. like, like, we're hunched in. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, like, keeping a lower tone, but, like, I'm not hiding my voice. Sure. Jin, what the fuck, man? Like... <laughs> You're supposed to be on my side. I am on your side, but like, look at, look at Sticky <laughs> and and Mary. That this is Dude, like a big moment for Sticky. I already took care of fucking. Oh God, don't do this again, please. I don't want another pass. I mean, it... okay, hear me out. What you said last time. time. As what long you as said it... last time, and we don't even have fucking bamboozle, bro. But he's grown. Bamboo Bamboo is really smart. He's good. What and it, I mean, oh my god! Do you, do the like... only, the only problem I foresee is if a horse houches out of here because we have not great luck with that. I don't think a horse. Is Which is really funny because Mary doesn't know that they lost two horses they purchased. Yeah, I've heard true. talk of Lefty and Righty though. Have you? She has. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. They didn't have Lefty and Righty before you left. <laughs> No, 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 and you just no. got back. I think we just talked about Miss, losing in general. Oh, Miss Doll. Okay. Miss Doll. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna it would have come up in the conversation. Into, uh, why do we I mean, it's for free. Money? Here's the thing. It's for free, right? And if we raise it right, it is, I don't know, it could be something interesting. I'm going to have sticky. And also, I... I we, we were also, I do want to be... I wanted know? to correct this earlier, but you guys kept going. Uh, it's not a human that runs this place. It's a gnome. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Gnomish yeah. wizard, hell yeah. Some motherfucker behind the counter. And he's got a, he's got a curly Q blonde mustache with a hey. goatee. He's he's got the full brrrr, and then I'm just I'm just, I'm just saying, bro. This is where Jin really leans in and whispers. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to take care of her. This is something that she can focus on. Why are you twisting this man? Son because look at her. I'm, it's already twisted oh, enough in me. I can't do it I look alone back at this. Sticky. How does Sticky look? <laughs> uh, Sticky is sitting there kind of staring at the egg longingly and almost kind of sad. She wants a friend. Oh, what do we do? Dude. We're going to deny it. She wants a friend is in a party with seven other people. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants a friend, man. She so Seven other people leave. has Skittle. Fucking Basil is under fucking Mary's hair. Bamboozle and Stool are up in the Empire, but she needs a friend, my guy. <laughs> I'm gonna have Sticky guy. turn to Valxis actually and be like, Valxis. Yeah. Do you think that you could possibly send 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 a message? Yeah, I can send a message. Okay. Could you? Could, could, I I know you might say no. Oh, I know where this is going, dude. But could you possibly, maybe, um, you know, reach out to the lady who reminds you of your mom? Oh, I thought you were gonna have him all? fucking you sending on the fucking egg. <laughs> 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 Dude, okay. Woo! <laughs> You're gonna use sending to talk to Mistal, who's like a couple streets away in her town hall. <laughs> yeah, because she doesn't really know if this deal is gonna be like off the table this second. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. What are you? Are you gonna do it, Vaxus? Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I. <laughs> One second. Think about what you're gonna say. <laughs> Amazing. But also, I mean, this could be a good moment for all of the group, Drell. You know? Everyone comes together and tries to what? pay attention to this thing. I'll be real bamboozle. Not all of us were super invested in it. Who? And there's bamboozle. I think bamboozle is just mostly like a you. I mean, like, I'd feed him, but like, I think oh, people I take care of him. I like, invested in that. I know, that's what I'm saying. Guy. You. I'm saying, but this would be for everyone. Look at it. everyone's even. It better be for it. everyone. I swear to God, if I end up taking care of another I do. I know. I don't want to take care of this thing either. I don't. No, I... you're going to take care of it. I'm not taking care of another one, Jin. <sighs> fine, what is fine, the message? 
Um, um, yeah, Sticky, what's the message first before I before I send it? Um, Sticky is going to say, uh, hi, Miss Doll, it's me, Sticky. Or are you doing it through Sticky again? Are you channeling? No, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm asking what her, what the, what she, yeah. her message is first. I'm not casting it yet. Yeah. It's me, Sticky. <laughs> There's a purple egg here. We can get it for free, <laughs> but we don't know what it is. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> You sent him that message? <laughs> I'm just going to turn and look at Sticky and I go, just take the egg. <laughs> just take it. <laughs> just take it. Like, I, I'm not going to message her. That's a, no. No, just take she's it. she's like the wisest person I know. Yeah, I know. And she's going to call us all idiots for taking it. So we should just take it anyway. <laughs> and she'll say that we're idiots? Yes. Yes. Oh, hey, yeah. Drew. Hey. What is what is Kilo? I just want to know Kilo's mindset right now. What is Kilo thinking as he's watching all of this go down? Same with you, Affiliate. I'll get to you in a second. Same with oh, you, man. Ben. I'll get to you in a second because you three are kind of just watching this battle between don't take it, take it, don't take it, take it. I mean, I mean, do you want me to I'm, like walk three streets down? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I went with when we when we got the quaddle. So you did. It was you. It was you. I'm not opposed to getting another like weird. Who who pet. was there at the black market pet shop? Was it Drell? Yeah, that was. Drell Affilion Kilo? No, Drell wasn't even there because Drell was introduced late. I think it was just Affilion and Kilo. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I just point there was a third person there. I'm on board. I don't really care. I mean, we had the quaddle and it, it went was well. Mary, right? It was Mary, yeah. Yeah, it was Mary. Yeah. Mary was, was Mary, there because yeah. it was Mama Mary. Yeah. Yeah, so it was you three. Okay, so you're on board with it. Ben, what are you, how are you feeling? How's Ben feeling just watching this debate go back and forth? Let her have the egg, guys. It's an egg. Okay. So who's anti-egg right now? Just Drell? <laughs> Just Drell who's anti-egg right now? That's crazy. That's wild. <laughs> is it crazy? Wild? Yeah, that only Drell is anti-egg? That's He's insane. One right now. <laughs> I mean, you want to know what the crazy thing I'm is? I'm saying this quietly. My That's... logic is I don't want to take care of another pet. Sure, you weren't taking we care of the first we one. I hated take you. Care of bamboozle. <laughs> oh, he we made fun of you all the time. He didn't let yeah, it. Drell and bamboozle did not get along. Oh, I yeah. took care of him. Listen, <laughs> for all we know, it could just be a dud. Or true, maybe it's like one of them like uh, tricentennial creatures that get you know have a gestation it period. Could, uh, unless you're Daenerys Stormborn, maybe it won't hatch. <laughs> maybe it won't ever hatch and. Uh, your lifetimes. Maybe. Am I it also getting could be rid of this egg or not? Too. I'm pretty sure I'm that egg, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna Why are you sticky. taking the egg or not? I'm going to have Sticky turn to them and say, yes, please. She she just slowly with like you almost hear a creaking in her brittle bones, re Ew. reaches down and hands you this egg. It's heavy, not too heavy. Like you can walk with it, but I give a gentle nudge to Sticky. Should oh. probably start thinking of a name when it hatches. I love coming up with names. Okay. Skittle gonna... like goes from his little ball form into like his little scarab and just skitters down your arm and then sits on top of the egg. Perfect. My children, my babies. I'm going to yeah. have um, Sticky kind of hold it like how fucking, you know, Misty holds Togepi. I was going to say either like that or like the way like a child tries carrying a paper bag full of groceries. <laughs> yeah. And she's just going to hold it and then she's going to be like, I'm going to have to think about a name. Scary lady, thank you very much. If we need to get get all the information to you, how do we do? How do we do that? 
You will have to bring the creature back or send the information however you see fit. But the master has ways of finding you and checking in. It's not like a spy. What? Like a, like a spy. Uh, she like looks around to see like who's watching. What have you heard? No, uh, no. I never heard anything. Oh, then no, no, he's not a spy. No. I say, lady, you're really bad at lying. You're like me. Oh my God, Stinky, please. <laughs> or is that exactly what I wanted you to think? Oh Jesus. Who wants to make an inside check? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Go for it. Happening, bro. Oh. Cool. Sticky, to you, she absolutely just tricked you twice. That's crazy. She made you think <laughs> she was a bad liar and then fucking swindled. Uh Mary and Aphelion, she's she's fucking around. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's just trying <laughs> to like she's bound here like for eternity and is just fucking with the owner by trying to stir the pot. Yeah. There you go. Okay, I see what I, you're really smart, scary lady. I pride myself on my intelligence. How did you come to be so scary anyway? Were you always like this? <sighs> Death does a lot to a person. That didn't really answer the question, but okay. I think it answered it pretty succinctly. <laughs> and I'm sticky. Just kind of like hold onto the egg, like adjust herself to like, so it's like sitting in like a comfortable position. And then like try and like almost rest her like face on it to like keep it mm -hmm. warm. It is like, real cold. Ooh. Yeah, just gonna, just gonna, uh, do you know if I need to keep it warm or cold? Because it feels really cold. We have no idea. That's <sighs> for you to figure out and experiment with. Have you ever asked okay. about the, the bad stuff? What bad stuff? Didn't she say something bad would happen if the thing like if we don't get information? No, oh, she said she said it would be an up to fined. one thousand yeah. platinum fee if yeah. you guys get this oh. thing killed or crushed or whatever. Up to, depending oh. on the value of the creature that comes out of it, but no one knows how much that's gonna be worth. But she said the most expensive fee that's had to oh. been cast down by Kintiro has been a thousand platinum. Also known as ten thousand gold. Yeah. Oh. I I heard that in a different light. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I have a sticky kind of smile with a little toothy sharpy smile. Mm -hmm. And then be like, okay, you got a deal. Thank you. <sighs> You're welcome. Enjoy your new friend. <sighs> I will. I'll take really good care of them. I promise. I'll, I'll never let anything happen to them. Okay. Wonderful. Because if you can't pay back your fee, you might end up like me. Oh my God! Did you mean okay. to rhyme? Yes. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have sticky, like you know, turn heel on the spot. Mm -hmm. And then start marching out with the egg. Sure. You guys buying all the other stuff you wanted to buy? Because no one's bought anything yet. <laughs> I would like hey, to get yeah, the, yeah. The, the bean bag and that immovable rod. Okay. Uh, 150 gold from you. Am I adding a custom item to my... So is it, I is mean, it... you can. Just write it down to make sure you have it. It's not going to be like a D&D &D item that you can so find in D&D Beyond. Plat? Yes. Who else is buying something? Uh, I want to know if they'll do a trade. 
Are oh. you putting the armor of protect or the ring of protection on the table and asking for a trade? Mm-hmm. What do you have in mind? I will bring out unworthy and I'll place it on the on the ground. Just yeah. And she. <sighs> One moment and just through the wall and then comes back to the doorway later. Actually, at first you hear a thump and then silence before (sighs) I forgot I can take solid objects through the walls. (laughs) (laughs) And she holds up a gem to her forehead to like identify the, the club. Um, have this for the ring. Yeah. Very well. And she holds out a hand to shake. Shake the hand. Okay. Done deal. Cool. Uh, remove unworthy. Uh, and add a ring of protection to your inventory. All right. Uh, excuse me, do you have, like, another one of these swords? And Jen will hold up the one he bought. Not the exact same one, but I'm just curious of, like, the type. Of oh, that specific sword, is are you asking? <gasps> For more katanas. Yes, that's what this is. That, yes. I <gasps> don't think we have any on hand. Mm, okay. Do you know where these come from? Because I've never really seen anything like this. The master is not a blacksmith. He finds things, then sells things, buys things, and sells things. Would you like to know where he acquired that specifically? Yes. Yes. She behind the counter uh, and lifts up a tome, puts it down, dust flies off. She whips it open and then pages just like blowing in the wind before she plants her hands down. (sighs) This was found on a starving, dehydrated soldier in the dunes of the west. The master assumes he was a knight turned mercenary who bit off more than he could chew. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh shit, knowing what the curse is too, that's funny. That guy did not have a good no. that guy had a sour no, no, no. demise. He did not have a Especially good time. In the desert, he did not have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Jin is just gonna be like, whoa. <laughs> Would that be Never mind. Um how much were the two how much were the keys? They were ten platinum apiece? Uh one was ten. Uh the other one I said was uh four. So hundred and forty? Yes, for both. Um, I would like to propose a trade. <laughs> I have so much pottering today. I have mm-hmm. one sapphire worth 200 gold pieces. Ooh. Two that... sapphires worth 100? No, no, no. I have two sapphires worth worth 200 each so one okay. of them is 200 so i have 400 right i take one of them and i put down the two keys trade she <laughs> pulls out like a, a like a little hand monocle and you it looks like she goes to close one eye but there's nothing in the eye sockets and she <laughs> leans in and just looks at it and then you see her just like <sighs> under the counter looking up from underneath the gem, like she raises it up onto the monocle a little bit and then goes back down and then around the side. 
fair trade, the value of the gem, more than enough for both of those keys. Okay, can I toss in, like, a greater healing potion? <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, no, wait, no. Normal healing potions, fifty gold. Yeah. Uh, never mind. I won't do that. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just. Uh, I don't want to do that. She takes the gem and just like reaches underneath the counter. And I take my two keys. Okay. Those are both in D and D Beyond. You can add them to your inventory. They're both in D and D Beyond. Yes. This is a mystery key and a warrior's pass key. Add two. Sick. Lovely. Who's next? Mary? Let's yeah, go. yeah. Um, 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 I just remembered. Uh, Mary's gonna scurry back to the rack where the armor was, mm -hmm. and I, uh, Mary would like to look at the one that was uh, 200. Uh, it, they went up in cost based on how heavy they were. Oh, shit. So it was kind of like, like, uh, you can get, like, it's like armor, it's like studded leather plus one. Armor of gleaming can be, you know, there's a, there's a, uh, a hide version, a chain shirt version, a scale mail version, a breastplate version. Um, this. Okay, so they're all armor of gleaming. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, the hide you said was... 12? 12 plus dex mod. Max of two. Okay. Um, was there any other light armor that was... You can get light armor that's just like plus one. Like studded leather plus one. That, uh, that sort of stuff is just like on racks. Like just protection plus one armor. Because I'm looking for uh, the better light armor out of the uh, rack because I just realized I the also had a of, gem. <laughs> the armor of gleaming does not come in light armors. It only becomes in it comes in medium and heavy heavy because it needs to have inlaid metal for the enchantment to hold. Okay, cool, cool. cool so cool. other stuff like studded leather and leather and uh, padded armors, those you can get in plus one versions. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do the we'll do studded studded. Studded plus one will be about a hundred gold. That's fine. Uh, so are you getting the filter of love? Yay. Okay. Uh, what kind of gem are you handing over? Um, since we're just doing the uh, stud of leather armor, she's gonna, just going to pay in like gold. Okay, cool. Yeah. You, you pay perfectly. She gives you both. So you now have a filter of love, which is something that is in D&D &D Beyond. Uh, and Sweet. the stud of leather plus one, which is also in D&D &D Beyond. Uh, anyone else? I'm good. Oh wait, how do how much do I owe? Uh it's one hundred for the armor and fifteen for the filter of love. Okay, perfect. Gracias. Does anyone at any point wanna wanna do identify on the candles or the stone? I mean you could do it, it's just gonna take time. Or does no one I'll care? I'll do it. Candles do it. and the stone or just Ah, uh, the candles. The candles sound. Uh, <laughs> candles of the Deep, which were 10 gold a piece, are candles that if are they're lit on fire, uh, will not go out if plunged in water. Like, you can Ooh, keep wow. them lit underwater. Ooh. We got Ooh. flares. Yeah, basically. Ferrari like Glow giga sticks. flares. Yeah. I'll identify the rock. <laughs> <laughs> the rock. The rock. Tell me what the rock is. What's Tell me the what rock the rock, rock is cooking. What's the rock cooking for you? Hold on one sec. Glory. I'm holding. Glory. What's the rock cooking? Glory. What's the bathroom? What was, was Kilo trading something? He traded a uh he traded his sword in the stone mall thing, the unworthy, the yeah. big the club, for a yeah. ring of protection. Oh. Goodbye, Rock. Get that AC up, baby. That's worth. Where are you, kitty? Oh, where's that kitty? It's a long cat, too. 
Oh, he's so weird. Um, and then the stone. I'm trying to show people how long you are. <laughs> it's the job. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, while touching a, the stone, you can use an action and activate it, and it removes... It, it's basically a... a um, press the digitation stone. You can just move it along stuff, and it cleans it. Nice. Mm. Yeah. A soap stone. Yeah, technically. Even funny little joke, but yeah. <laughs> soap stone. <laughs> uh... So we did Kilo. We got. Drill, you already spent your money. You did. Yeah. You bought the pass keys. Okay. Anyone else buying anything? No. no. Okay. Do you guys think we're going to nope. need one of those candles ever? No. Never. Never in the history of forever. Like, we said that about dynamite, but, like, we Never were also kind of, like, forever. looking for dynamite pretty recently, too. Like, hey, hear me out. I know this is a magic shop. But like, you want to buy one candle, Drew? You can buy one candle. No, I want to buy dynamite. <laughs> I need to get more dynamite. That That's, like, a necessity. I don't know why I need to carry dynamite, but I need it. You never know, man. In a pinch, it's huge. <laughs> We were, we were we were fucking digging for it. We're like, you have dynamite still? No, no, I don't have dynamite still. <laughs> um. Okay, so everyone leaving the magic shop? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Okay. You going to buy dynamite real quick? We can just speed run that. Yeah. 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 I to buy it. You go to that general store that's across the street that was like that had that just normal dude who like sold camping equipment and stuff ages ago. Yeah, and he's uh he's just uh, sticks of dynamite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many do you need? How much is a stick of dynamite again? God damn it, I don't fucking remember. Hold on. <laughs> dynamite. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember. I mean, as an equipment piece, it's probably cheap. I'd say like uh two silver a pop okay okay um I'll, I'll just take a dozen um two gold four silver, silver. or yeah. 24 silver yeah i have a lot of silver sure you buy 12 sticks of dynamite um all right what do you I uh a... i mean I, I don't know if this is intrusive you can just tell me it is uh what are you what are you blowing up Oh, nothing in particular. It's just really good to have around in case you need it. Have I met you before? Maybe. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, yep, thank you. Here's your sticks of dynamite. If you hey. want, you can like tie a bunch of those together and make like, a thing of dynamite. Oh, it's pretty sick. That's, that's uh, a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one more question for you. What's up? How much salt would you say you have available right now? Uh, well, I mean, do you count sand as salt or do you mean no. like pure salt? Pure salt. Well, we got, we do have bags of salt. Uh, they come do in you like, have like 300 pounds worth of salt. <sighs> <laughs> I'm doing this again. I'm doing this again. Yeah. Uh, 200? let me check. 200. I got to check out back. I mean, if you see over there, we have like 25 pound bags, but I think there's only like eight bags over there. Uh, oh wait, that's like perfect. <laughs> no, that's 200. You said 300. No, that's actually what I need. I, I, yeah, I'll tell him, I'll tell Gerald that it's 200 and not 300. So you don't need me to check the bag for more salt? No. The okay. 200 is I mean, usually those are used, like, we sell those to restaurants and shit to, like, spice up their food. Like, you just, you no, want... No, 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 no. How much, how much is the 200 pounds of salt? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> each, each bag runs for about 10 gold. So if you're getting eight bags, it's 80 gold worth of salt. How much is that in silver? 800. Cauldron of, Cauldron of Rebirth says 200 uh... pounds of salt, which costs... 10 gold pieces total. Cool. That's not what he's saying. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the spell does. If you're in here with Drell, you could be like, hey, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, Drell doesn't I know mean, better. You guys got the last salt for free. 
That no, I paid for that. Did you from the docks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'd also think you don't pay. I don't think you paid ten then either. I think they swindled the shit was, out of you back then too. They swindled the shit out of me. I'm 50. buying a fuckload of salt. Like, yeah, they're swindling me. It's I don't know anybody. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. He goes. You know what? You really want eight bags of salt, don't you? I thought you were fucking with me. You really need eight bags of salt? Yeah. No. Like I'm dead ass. Yeah. I'm serious. Uh, five dead gold ass. piece. So forty gold. 400 silver. 40, 40 gold yeah, How many pounds? This is, this uh, is 80 pounds take, of salt. Take, no, 200 a... pounds of salt. Oh my god. Which is apparently <laughs> only worth 10 gold, says the stupid fucking cauldron, but bullshit. <laughs> I call bullshit on that. <laughs> 200 uh, pounds? I mean, in like a city, sure. Yeah. But like oh, if you were in the fucking mountains, you know, it's much rarer of a commodity. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so All I right. take out my silver pouch, mm -hmm. and it's it's pop into the brim. It's it's literally got, like, over 500 pieces in it. Yeah, oh, you handed him 400? Yeah, I'm handing him 400 silver. Okay, perfect. He goes, okay, they're over there. Take them. Hey, thanks, man. Um, salt oh, bag. Are you <laughs> sticking the bags of salt in your pack? fanny pack of holding? Yeah, yeah, How yeah, yeah. How oh. wide can the fanny pack of holding That's open? Enough. There's a whole oh, there's a whole one. logic to it under the bag of holding I, item. I, I, I did this already. I think it's five cubic feet. Yeah, yeah, we did this already, and I did this before. Yeah, they're within Somehow. five feet by five feet. You're fine. Yeah, well, it yeah, just yeah, it just I... magically stretches open. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he he just from his waist, like the guy. <laughs> you turn your back to the guy, and you like open the fanny pack, and I don't know if it's, like kilos in there helping you lift it or something. Like they're lifting the bags in. He just no, goes. I think it's just me. I think that's funnier. How are you keeping the bag open while you're lifting up the sacks of salt? Uh, I just have more money bags holding it open. <laughs> oh my god. You put I a money bag in, you open it and put a money bag down to like hold it open and the money bag just whoop, into the bag of holding. Uh, Do you think shit. that's the sound that it makes? Does it just make like a pneumatic? <laughs> hey, do you think you can hold this open for a second, man? God, it's gonna uh, fall. Uh... Okay, but like if I'm standing in front of you holding this open, then no, how are you getting behind me to grab the sacks? Do you want me to just really? lift up the sacks? Yeah. Oh here, no, it's a game here. of twister. <laughs> Two gold for labor. Oh my god! Then let me behind. <laughs> behind what? You have it attached to your fucking waist. I'm trying to hand you the bag. So you want to lift up a bag, hand mm. me the bag, open your little fucking fanny pack, and then I put it in and run that a bunch of times? I just, I'm, I'm just asking yeah, you to you hold can... the fanny pack so I can put the salt in. Are you... <laughs> <laughs> so what, so it's just out of character. What he's asking, so are you taking the fanny pack off your waist? Because yeah. it's currently belted, to, you have it belted yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I, was, I know that, yeah. You're I'm unbuckling it. it off. Okay, yeah. and then handing him the bag of holding. Yeah, and I'm asking him to hold it open for me. He puts, put his, he puts his hands in and like opens a little, he goes, I don't know, man. I don't want to rip your bag. You're not going to rip it. This is a tiny fucking bag. Are you telling me you're going to put all that salt in here? Yeah, watch. Ready? And I and I put one bag of salt in. You, like, start pushing the corner, and he's like, whoa, oh, okay, okay. Whoa. 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 <laughs> and and then, he, like, and he, like prepares, to, he prepares to, like, brace as the weight of, of 25 pounds of salt comes down, and he goes... The and fuck just happened? To, and then I continue to put the bags of salt in there. I want to need to watch this back without any this context. Is... <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. Just hey, use thank your salt. you so much. And I here. take I and know. I take the bag and I seal it up and I put it around my waist and I and I just mosey on out of that bitch. Yeah, I got twelve yeah. sticks of dynamite and two hundred pounds of salt. Surely he's used a bag of holding yeah. before. No oh. shot. He's just a dude who runs a camping supply store. A suspicious, um, <laughs> suspicious oh, amount of dynamite. There, there has anyway. to have been another adventurer walk up and just stick a whole fucking hey, pickaxe in their bag. I need to ask Philion <laughs> a question. You guys are fucking loaded. You yeah. guys are an enigma in society. The fact that you guys just walk into a magic shop and clean house and then walk away and go do shit and come back loaded again is not a common occurrence. People aren't just walking around with bags of holding. These cities are not loaded with magic. Maybe in the Empire, maybe Vaxus is fucking pr like prissy ass noble friends yeah. all have bags of holding as purses that they sling over their shoulders or whatever but like this is just a city in the kingdom that is like 
<laughs> this is like What's fucking up? Chicago. Yeah. There's not people uh, yeah. walking around here with <laughs> fucking Gucci just bags. Chill. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no, uh, what you should do is uh, in a combat, you should fly above someone and then invert the bag so that all 200 pounds of salt just fall <laughs> at terminal velocity. <laughs> Uh, no, see, that's why I wanted the bag of beans, so I could just nuke uh, someone while flying. <laughs> What's up, Literally, the beans can do uh, so much other shit, and you're just like, yeah, what if I just drop them all out of the bag and they explode? Ha <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's the only thought I had. Um, so, Affiliate, I had a question for you. I don't know if you're the right person to ask, but you feel like the right person to ask in my head. Okay. Um, I need to try to commune with someone that's you know where I can... very unspecific <laughs> yeah that's what i thought you could help me with are you I... looking for anybody in like can i do i have a name like do you remember are you um... holding your microphone like with your hand just like <laughs> <Sure. flinging around? laughs> Just chilling, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you remember when we, like, right after Yol um, perished, we went through <clears> that <throat> town and they had the fucking the church of Yol there, yeah, and they I'm mentioned a successor. Um, I'm trying to reach out to that successor to let them know what's been done. You mean Marador's? No, no, not for Roxas. Make a history <laughs> check, Kafilion. Oh, you're better than me. It's a memory game. Why is this? I don't know why it's an advantage, but uh, oh, either way. Don't worry about it. Lowest number. Yeah, either way. Uh, yeah. You remember, you, like, you're not stupid. You do remember that you guys went to the Church of Yol in, uh, in, um, Eintris. And really there was a priest there who said that he still had power because he sought out a secondary god of joy. Uh, you do remember it's a goddess. You don't remember anything else about her. He didn't really, you guys didn't sit and talk much. You were more concerned about the fact that Ben had cast multiple darkness spells to cover <laughs> the fact that Drell almost killed a teenager who was just showing you guys where to go. Dude, that was sick. Yep. <laughs> after, <laughs> after Drell claimed to be the champion of Yol and then proceeded to uh, attempt to raise a cult under himself. I tried. Tried. Was that what happened? And yeah. He was trying to say that Yol's still alive, that he's the only one with Yol's power, and that he's the one you should I, listen to. I, I tried. Eintris? Eintris was the city, yes. It was before mm -hmm. you guys crossed the bridge, met Mary and Kilo into the I Empire. Like, I, I feel like you would know at least a way to reach out to her, whether it's like a cultist. Do I just go to Drell, like a make church? a history check. This Man, is whether or not I'm you worse. remember her name. I'm worse than him. No. Nope. <laughs> I'll tell you if I have it. If I have it written down here somewhere, I'll let you know. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, the, is the rest of the party here, or did you two just walk into this store real quick by yourselves? It would have probably. It would have been everybody. Not yeah, I, I'm, I'm assuming I'm back with everybody, but I'm just like talking to a filly on like on the side. Um, let's see. Just going page by page here. I mean, if you're talking outside in front of everybody, then like we can like yeah. Everyone else, does anyone else remember off the top of their heads before I make you roll a history check and tell you? <laughs> cool. Uh, Ben and Valxis, Ben Valxis and Jin can roll history checks because you guys were All there. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, dude. Damn it. Oh, Ben, thank God. Oh, Ben's got it. Uh, Lyra. L L I I R A. Never. Was the goddess of joy. Yeah, I just want to let that goddess know that... Uh... Found it. <laughs> Mistress of Rebels. <laughs> yeah, symbolism, woman in a dress. Um... 
Yeah, that's all I have written for it. Our Lady of Joy, Mistress of Revels. Yeah, how, how do you think I'd reach out to someone like that? Um, same way, I guess, any... Uh, oh, fuck, I should have bought one of those candles, dude. I guess most per people would find <sighs> a church or maybe a, a worshipping, like group try and find we can i mean could try to make contact with somebody in uh where we first met them in itris but it's not a little bit away from here it's pretty far what specifically itris itris yeah you guys had to teleport to pine Tai from hedron so that you didn't have yeah, to travel yeah. for like four weeks yeah i don't know i don't know about going back there but if you're asking me specifically if i have any way of talking long distance like that no noah can i ask you an out of character question hey what's up why do you believe a druid is going to be the one to lead you towards religious commu uh, communication well <laughs> in <laughs> character i've seen him out of everyone here have more roots to like spiritual means than like anybody else really. Ben's magic, fucking uh, Valxus is just like a, a city boy. Uh, Jin grew up with me, but he comes from like a village in the woods. Sticky, I don't, I don't know about Sticky. Yeah, but, Mary, but I don't but really know on. about Mary. No, but hold uh, on. And Ophelia, okay. he looks at the stars and shit. He, yeah, he knows about it's nothing just, it's just that in all stuff. of Drell's experiences, <laughs> all of his religious god-based experiences <laughs> all revolved around Jin, no, and Ophelia's just kind of been there. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we just went to, to Jin's find, village, which is full of nothing. a bunch of religion. Yeah, you just went. Yeah, Jin lived in a town in the woods. Yeah, and a town that worshipped a like blood goddess, and his mother was like shaman. the person who communed <laughs> yeah. with all of the de like. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. If you want to keep asking Aphelion, I'm down with it. Aphelion, basically, what you're gathering is that he's like <laughs> you're spiritual. You're in tune with energy. Uh, well, I guess to some extent, but not necessarily divine or like. The reason I'm asking five, but... you is because every time we go out to a new place, I see you chart the stars and you, you take note of the surrounding. And I feel like you're more in tune with, I don't know, like the the weave. Is that what it's called? Is that how that Fabrication. works? Is that how you I'm... talk to them? A feeling as, as himself on his, has no idea like really much about the weave mm -hmm. but... and in character. Trail, to my understanding of, I guess, magic, it's mainly just, I, I draw the maps, I draw the stars, because it's the the connections between the stars, the constellations, the blank space, the, the voids, the stars themselves, that's where I, I gather, I guess, my power from. It's not anything necessarily spiritual, it's in that sense of, like, divinity, like, with Yol, or... Lira, I was, ho I was hoping you could find me something that I couldn't find, you know what I mean? Because you seem to be good at that. Um, <laughs> if, it's, if it's somewhere... In a town that has churches and shit, and like... Naturally. <laughs> Filion, if you don't figure it out, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted a lead. He seems to be good at finding shit where there's no leads. <laughs> I mean, I guess if they're somewhere like physically like on this world then i could find find it but should i, just, should I go that, should i just go try a church that would probably be best. <laughs> i love that he dm'd me and was like, I'm going to have Drell seek out a druid so that he can yeah, commune with his goddess, like this new goddess. And I'm like, a <laughs> druid? <laughs> oh, you still didn't stop me. I didn't, because that's what Drell would do. Great. That's why I continued this thread. That's fine. Oh, and, and that's just understand the Drell. After, after being the voice of reason trying to convince Sticky not to take an unknown egg, Drell's like, Ayo, uh, Drell, druid, Drell. nature druid guy, do you know how Listen, I can commune with a deity? Do, Drell, <laughs> Drell doesn't understand magic in yeah. the sense that, like, he thinks it's, like, a nature thing. Like, it's natural. And some people just naturally do it and other people naturally don't do it. Mm. So, like, 
<laughs> he sees he sees a druid that can naturally do magic and just assumes that he has his shit figured out. Right. Because everyone I else understand his magic. reasoning. I get it. Yeah. The reasoning is not sound, but like it's there. I get it. It's there. <laughs> are you going to a church? What are we doing? Yeah, I'm going to a church. Is the whole party going with him to this church? Where? What is everyone doing right now? Yeah. Jin, let's Jin let's try and draw out the church. Which Jin church? Trying to figure out how the fuck we can get to where we want to <laughs> be. Church? You want to go to the church, church of Lathander where you were rezzed? Yeah, that sounds great. Dope. True. Okay. Wait, was that in this town? Yes. Yeah, that was in this yeah. town. Dude, that was a for the next ever ago. That was no, he did die, thing, bro. Wait, how would he oh, die? Yeah. Being oh, fucking oh, thunder waved into a brazier. He's covering this up, guys. Guys, can we stop him? <laughs> we didn't He's say died bye. twice. Valks has fucking just killed, killed him. <laughs> Valks has killed him, and Henry had to teleport his dead body yeah. to the Church of Lathander to be rezzed in the waters. And that's why you guys were fighting in Piantai for La yeah. like. Initially, the idea was for Lathander. He was like, "You can pay us back." Either, you know, oh. you know, he was like, he's like, we rezzed your guy. Like, if you want, we need to go fight in this tournament. We have soldiers out there, but you guys are tough. If you want to go do it. And you guys were like, no. And then you went to Piantai anyways and fought for Umrig's religion. Which is like a total for, slight to this guy. For some reason, my memory goes from the, the initial, like, first night at that bar with the kid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Straight to Pine The Branch Tide? Boys. Okay. Yeah. okay. Then Pine Tide. Do, do you not remember falling asleep yeah. in a Benadryl bender halfway through a session yeah. while you guys were at, right after you guys fought Warforged in a mine who all so self So that's why I don't know about it. Because <laughs> I was asleep. Well, you were asleep one session. That was when you guys, you were asleep during the session where they were staking out Kaizo's okay. mansion before you guys I went underground now. to okay, fight okay. the Phoenix. Yeah. Right. But then you guys came back to Hedron, used the gnome wizard to teleport you guys to Piantai. And you went to Piantai to fight for the Church of Lathander, met Umrig and went, no, nah, we'll fight for your religion, my guy. And then didn't fight for the Church of Lathander. You know, fought Corey, against the Church of Lathander in the first <laughs> round, kicked their asses. <laughs> you, you know, I think you're owed an apology, Corey. Uh, I think I've said recently that we have not had a proper goal, and I can see that we've abandoned the main one. You've abandoned a lot of goals. Years ago. <laughs> Yeah, you guys were hunting down one though, cause you guys abandoned the Phoenix thing because you guys went up to the Empire and instead of like trying to well, coerce okay, Valxus's mother or yeah. like work with her or like be a part of the organization, Valxus went, fuck you, no, mom! Yeah, we're not, not doing shit with, with you! Our way or the highway! And then you abandoned it all! Shut on us. That's like been the thing with this. Is that we get and then, the door and then like, Jin and Valxis go. were gonna kill each other while Jin was his bodyguard because Valxis' decision to not work with his family to be part of like the underground fucking black market coer whatever that was led yeah. to Jin having to abandon the love of his life. Yeah. So Jin got fucking wasted and almost threw himself overboard on an airship as you guys were flying to his home to tackle his internal werewolf issues. So much. I can, uh, yeah. so much. It, it makes a lot more sense. Is her name Lightbringer? <laughs> yeah. Whose name Lightbringer? Lightbringer? Sorry, yes, I'm mom. blanking on the name. <laughs> Whose name? The uh the the the, the council member in this town. Yeah. Missed all Lightborn. Lightborn. Yeah. I can see why why Lightborn hates us pretty much. <laughs> you guys, it makes no, more sense AJ, now. AJ, I don't know if you remember before you guys went to Yolheim, you guys went from Jin's village down to Hedron, yeah. and then mm -hmm. walked into Mistal's office, and she said, "What can I do for you?" And Drell literally said out loud, and I quote, "We need a quest. Do you have a quest for yeah. us? We need something to do." <laughs> yeah. So crazy. And she was like, I don't know, fucking go solve your town's problems. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> Which was again well, something we I gave you guys about. the Phoenix. I gave you guys the lid. I gave you guys Paroxes. I gave you guys Kane. I gave you guys. <laughs> Hey, or, I, well, I, I think what's funny is on Jin. we I showed up to Mistal, asked her for a quest, but we already knew about this and everything. <laughs> <laughs>
You literally had someone fucking scry on your master and knew Johan was going down the shitter. In the Phoenix thing, your mother was just like, hey, maybe don't be a vigilante. You want to do this shit, you do it bar our way. And Vox just went, no! Now. <laughs> yeah. He went, no. There was outside pressure from the other And party, she went, the fine, the you decide to do it your way, you're going to have a problem with the family business. Which I was like, yeah. cool, <laughs> fucking Winterlight Civil War. And he went, no, nah, guys, fuck the Phoenix. We're out! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It has been, oh, okay. And we know the Phoenix is actively trying to break out because Sheila has her fucking chained up oh. in fucking hell and she's coming out. You literally, like, I gave you guys like 10 ins back into <laughs> yes, the Phoenix thing bro. and you all went, so man, crazy. that sucks. <laughs> and it kept so going. Watching it. And I then, love it. But then you guys had a session literally like a couple of weeks ago where you were like, you know what? Yeah, let's go fight the lynch! Let's just go march it in there! Yeah! <laughs> it's so crazy, bro. After dr After Kilo and, and Henry were like, hey, we were this crazy powerful group, and it wiped us the fuck out. Don't what do it! When no one wants to take any gold, but know that the lich is the worst You can thing. abandon the so phoenix. Like, I've told I you guys, you guys can choose that. not to go down whatever threads you don't want to go down, yeah. but understand things are happening in the world as you choose not to do them. And they will play out, yeah. Oh, listen guys, we should we- Anyways, <laughs> you're going to church? <laughs> Listen, I just think church. we need a short term, like, immediate I'm gonna be success. Honest, I can't believe party, I remember you know? all of that. We did already have one. You just bro. did! We just <laughs> had one! <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just blow up an entire cult of Baroxas and defeat a gigantic Bro. fucking evil death worm? Or did that know, not happen? Call that a success. <laughs> you just literally did the RPG stereotype of completing a fucking quest. Like, you guys just yeah. did an MSQ from fucking World yes. of Warcraft and passed yeah. it in and got a thousand gold. And <laughs> Oh, I can't. Hey. Okay. One second. Corey, I don't think I can go to church, man. <laughs> hey, I I'm still trying to figure out a way to that fucking library. I, I want to figure out a way. <laughs> you want to go to the fucking library? Why do you want to go to the fucking library? You guys library? chose to go to the- You're like, oh, let's We're go to the fucking- to Let's go to another continent to read books! We're going there to get information on, like, what Why? this whole fucking thing was about. Cheers, cheers, Bro, are you cheers. paying attention? We've had, like, three sessions talking about, we gotta go there to get some information. I and know! Is, like, well, like, we just talked about that. You guys! Guys! <laughs> First of all, B oh, just fucked like up that. the cameras. Don't Thank you, B. Like that. Second of all, <laughs> you guys don't listen when AJ talks! Ben said he spent 50 years at that library! I think it was more than 50. It was 50 to 100 years at that library studying everything about his existence and found nothing! But the caveat to that was he says that and then follows up with, but I didn't have help. So I may have missed things. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, yeah, man. A hundred, like, a hundred years of book me. reading wasn't enough because he didn't have friends like you. <laughs> Woo! No, no. Here's the specific <laughs> the clarification there. There's one thing I know about this group of adventurers is that they are bookworms. They are the smartest <laughs> fucking readers I've ever seen in my life. Like studied. Sophisticated, these are words that I would use to disguise to, to discuss yeah, the me, several, yeah, me, me. the <laughs> several who call themselves the blank one, and most of the words they're using are not great. <laughs> so here's the thing, Hita. Ben has probably read every single book in that library. Except for the unexcel like Why unallowed section se section. Except for like, the forbidden I section. Could use some help. However, he doesn't have the context of like, oh, I think this is important. I've been wandering for another hundred years. Maybe there's a hundred more years of books in the library for me to read. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck are we doing? He said he needed help. He's like, I, I might have missed books. I was like, okay, there's okay, nothing. Okay, to guys, maybe we do don't that. go to the library. <laughs> I don't think we should. Yeah, I don't think we do. I, I, I said that when we suggested it, and everybody was like, no, we gotta go. And I went, 
I don't want to. No, 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 no. You can't even say that argument either, because you're like, it's for nerds. One year yeah, old fucking musician who reads music. Dude, it's crazy, because Valtus is the biggest there. nerd here. Okay. <laughs> what is I'm making the executive crazy? decision, Corey. Yo, what's We're up? not going to the left. Oh my god, yeah. no way! I don't have to design a whole other continent? Woo! Let's go! Imagine designing an entire continent just for you guys to read books and have to roll fucking fucking investigation checks and all fail because you're not intelligence based. Oh my god, that'd be crazy! Oh my god, I know. we are the worst adventurers. We are the worst adventurers. Never mind, Ben's the only one. How the fuck do you have a plus ten in an investigation and in an intelligence stat? You're a charisma character. It's expertise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you took rogue points, you bitch! <laughs> uh, uh, hey, B. Uh, hey, Cass. I just want to tell you guys I appreciate you. Hey, Drew. You too, man. You guys are great. Um, I don't think any threads have been cut by the scissors of your characters. And I... <laughs> Don't say not yet, please. Don't say not yet. Don't say that, Drew. Please. Stop. <laughs> Let's just follow Drell to this goddamn God. church and let him get us D &D, dragged man. into another issue. He wants, to, he wants to come here with like, dude, this dude over here. And I don't even mean Drell. I mean Noah. It's just like anyone's a priest, so anyone can commune with whatever fucking god they want, right? They talk like they have a specific so god they get their power from. They can all just talk to all no, gods, right? No, that's the funny thing. I know they can't. That's the whole point behind Omring. Was I allowed that for one character? And you're trying to do it in face. every instance, in every character. <laughs> you're like, let's commune with everyone. It's funny. I've given you three gods. <laughs> Corey. Okay. You fucking abandoned the last one because he was democratic. <laughs> I'm gonna repost it to Reddit titled DM has breakdown. <laughs> oh my god! The dogs already want to come back in. They're chasing rabbits out there. They're fucking whining and screaming. He keeps breaking the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He keeps breaking the bottle. He has he left without the bottle. <laughs> Did you guys hear Mexico guy's first woman president? Yeah, this actually awesome. broke the DM. Hey guys, are we going to That's church? Funny. What are we doing? What's going no, on? I don't, no, I don't. <clears throat> no, I've reset. No, no, no. I've reset myself. We're going to church. <laughs> you think you can reset? <laughs> yeah, we no, guys, that was a crazy break. That was a good break we had. Um, <clears throat> so you're going to church break. of Lathander where you were previously <laughs> rezzed, right? I have heartburn. <laughs> I'm crying. Uh, I refuse to laugh. <laughs> <clears throat> so, church of Lathander? <laughs> Yeah? Okay, cool. Uh, hold on one second. <laughs> I'm staying outside. Stay That's cool. <laughs> Den is just staying outside. He's just cruising. Why are you guys staying outside? outside? He's going to get uh, yelled at. <laughs> staying outside. <laughs> staying outside, huh? <laughs> this is your investment for your okay. prayers, man. I don't want... Uh... <laughs> You go inside the Church of Lathander, Drell, by yourself, apparently. Uh-huh. <laughs> you walk inside, the entire party's outside. <laughs> you got it, buddy. You yeah, I stay it. outside. Okay. You go inside, and there is a single man, a drow man, a drow man you know, who is currently knelt before a statue of Lathander, praying to himself. A man but you know by the name of Levon. Oh, fuck, I know him, but he don't remember me, huh? I don't know, does he? I don't know. What are you doing? Oh, fuck. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> After this whole talk, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'm having an existential crisis in Dungeons and Dragons. Are you talking to him? <laughs> Outside, Ben's gonna be like, anyone wanna get a uh, grub sandwich or something? Uh, yeah, can we see if we can find a bakery? I really want to find a bakery and get cake. 
<laughs> Another cake? Yeah, yeah their last cake's though. really good. Oh, sure, there's a cafe in this town. Let's go find one. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of the party leaves. Drell, you're in this church by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the party, you guys find, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's like little diners as well as like full blown bakeries. Last time you got uh, cupcakes, are you guys going for like more pastries? You want like a full cake? What are you? I'm gonna have sticky just cake, like one yeah. of everything. Oh no! <laughs> full ten I'm platinum. For, I'm looking for brownies. Oh. She just wants. She just wants like, a, like a ch like as much. <clears throat> sugary traits as she can possibly hold on to yeah yeah, yeah. um <laughs> as much as you can hold on to or as much as you can fit in a bag um, um, <laughs> yeah one of everything like sweet thing that's in there <laughs> you walk into a bakery and you see on display it's a full like uh full display the only side that doesn't have display is the side that you're coming in on <laughs> as a as a counter of display and then the front counter of display cases of stuff there's different types of muffins different types of donuts different types of cupcakes mm. different types of cakes different types of pastries different types of you just you're you're in sticky's heaven this is this is dessert slash pastry heaven uh, and you guys all spend a good time, a good time. You have a great time. The rest of the party, everyone but Drell, just indulging in 10 Platinum's worth of every single type of sugar-based delicacy that would be served at a bakery. <laughs> Cubby's eyes. <laughs> she has 10 Platinum that she was given on this doll that she wants to pay with. She was I given- I don't want to oh. use the whole 10 Platinum. <laughs> if you want one of everything, you might have to. Oh, There's a no. lot of different types of pastries, cakes, muffins, breads, d donuts. Oh, oh, no. No. Is Sticky going all in or not? Do I give Sticky the 49 gold that I have on me. Okay, sandwiches. then let's say you go through about 20 gold, two platinums worth of I still, baked goods. I still give Sticky all my gold. Okay, so you now have add 49 anymore. gold to your character sheet, Sticky, and then remove two. Or remove 20, sorry. Okay. I don't want to play this game anymore. Drell, you went to church. Now get your hosier ass back down in that chair. Take me to church and figure out what the fuck you want to do. My cat's playing in a paper bag. Fuck, dude. That's crazy. Is your cat's name Lyra, <laughs> aka the goddess of joy that you wanted to contact? Yeah, I'm going to walk up to the fucking... Uh, the, the statue of Lythander, got me? Yeah, the guy who's kneeling in front of it, you know, named Leithen. No, not him. But he's in front of the statue. Are you just walking uh, up to the statue and like walking past him? Well, I'm gonna go next to him, I guess. Cool. I'm not gonna say anything to him. You should stand there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. Roll me. <laughs> <laughs> roll me a d20. Just a flat d20. No, no additives. Oh no my nothing. god. You stand there for 14 straight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Before, before he... That's, that's as long as I wanted to stay there, Corey. He takes a breath and goes, Is there something I can help you with? Oh, no, sorry, actually. I was just leaving. Um, because in those 14 <laughs> Fucking, minutes... Hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, because in those 14 minutes, Corey... <laughs> I need to make a deception or a persuasion check? <laughs> as to whether or not you have nothing you want to do here? He goes, I don't think that's true. No one comes in here for a purpose and stands that long looking I, up I at our Lord without having some no, reason I'm, to be here. No, I'm sorry. I was just saying a, a, a little quiet message. You Where sound just... oddly familiar. How would I sound familiar? Uh, usually people who sound familiar are people that I've met before, but Yo, wait, hold I'm on. trying OC, to place OC, you. OC, does my voice not change? Do, have you changed how Drell sounds between Orc oh, and Dragonborn? Fuck! <laughs> You've been role-playing the same fucking way the whole time. If you this wanted to change crazy. up what Dragonborn you sounded like, you would have done that 30 <laughs> sessions ago. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Dude, if you want to start now, I'll allow it, but you're not allowed to stop. Oh God, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! I was just like, oh shit! I didn't think about this. Uh huh. Yeah. How does he? How does he? How do you? How do you put me? He he closes his eyes and listens to you talk and goes, I win these. "No, I know that voice. You were raised here once by my hands." And he opens his eyes and looks at you. 
but I don't remember when. And I don't remember someone looking like you. Yeah, that was a while ago. So I do know you. What do you mean, how would I know you? If you're just going <laughs> to confirm what I said. Honestly, I was very surprised because nobody else remembers me. <laughs> I mean, you have a very... I, I don't know. It's, it's your the, voice. It's the way you carry yourself. I, I don't remember really, who you are. I'm really surprised you remember me by the voice because nobody else seems to. Like, at all. I'm surprised that's what gave me away. <laughs> Would you, per chance, have, oh. happen to have, a hacky sack? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> roll a no. deception check if you want to say no <laughs> you roll another you rolled two deception before but you can roll another one now to determine whether or not you want to say Wait, no I rolled two? I don't know apparently no I rolled an eight I see a 15 and an eight <clears throat> yeah, you just, I just rolled a 15 for uh, what you just had me do before this one I so, stood here for 14 minutes and then I said no I'm good I'm just right leaving. that was the 15 yeah and then and I just rolled an eight oh the eight say. just came in okay yeah. Uh, he goes, Hi. <laughs> Listen, our Lord doesn't care about lying. You're not going to be plunged <laughs> into some eternal hell or damnation because you lie. If you need to keep your secrets, Mr. Hacky Sack Man, then so be it. If you want to leave the church, I can't stop you. I'm just I'm just worried I'm doing the wrong thing at the wrong place again, you know? It's just... Well, you came here for a reason, didn't you? I wanted to send a message to a god I don't believe is even, like, I don't know, being worshipped anymore. I, I don't know if there's a special place to do it or if I could just do it anywhere. A deity who isn't being worshipped anymore? Yeah. Could this be the one that decided to show its gigantic visage above the church? Because the last time you were here, you were hacky sacking outside, and Yol decided to show himself by being like thirty feet tall and dancing Ooh, above the church. I forgot about that. Yeah. You're trying to yeah. send a message to Yol? Is that what you just said? Out of character? Well, no, no. Oh my god, no, Aaron, you're so blurry. Like, <laughs> dude, I no, can't like, get it to come back. It just blurred out, and I won't. I'm come not back trying to send a message to Yol. I'm trying to send a message to anyone who still listens to Yol, like you know, like a radio. Nah, it doesn't make Interesting. sense. Interesting. Well, I would assume after the departure from life that a deity makes, all those who worship are worshipping um, in an empty way. But those who are granted power from such a being would recognize that that power is no longer being granted and assume the worst. I just, I don't know. I wanted to share updates. That's all. I can... Try something. I mean, it'd be better than nothing, I suppose. What updates do you want to send to all lasting worshippers? Um, <clears throat> Yolheim is uh, no more. Yol has been killed by... Hang on, I want to get this right, Corey. Yol mm -hmm. was killed by Baroxas, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm stating Yol was killed by Baroxas. Um, continue to find joy in everything around us. He, he like, does one of those, like, smiles... You know, one of the ones that's just like, that is a very sweet message to send to a lot of people who are probably lost. He looks up at the statue of Lathander. I'm sure if I ask hard enough, our Lord will find a way to deliver that message. I'd, I'd appreciate that. The least we can do. Um, I'm gonna go into uh, I'm gonna go into my my uh, my thing, and I'm gonna give him uh, my copper pouch. The whole pouch? Yeah, it's got 800 copper in it. 
<laughs> wow. I tithings are never required, and you don't need to pay no, for me I, to send good messages out to people who are just struggling no, for purpose. I just, I, I just, <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, I, I don't just, worry please. about it. I will take you, you, it and you, use it for good. You helped me before. And I kind of feel like we got off on the wrong foot because, well, nobody else recognizes that I've changed appearances. Um, like anyone I've met twice, you're the only one who's actually recognized from some weird shape or form. He looks confused for a second and then slowly starts to reach a hand up to your face. If you allow it. Yeah. He, he puts his hand gently on the side of your face and leans in and stares really deeply into your eyes. I have seen life re-entered into these eyes. Whatever form it exists in doesn't matter. And if you're coming here trying to spread faith to those who have been left punished for theirs, and you want to leave such a bountiful tithing. I don't think that's a lot. Drell doesn't have a concept of money. <laughs> Especially the copper coins. Mm -hmm. He it's goes, like pennies, bro. Nonetheless, <laughs> it's still accepted. It's appreciated. And we will do the best we can to help those who have been left lost and alone. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can do for you today? No. I'll continue to pay it forward, as I hope you will, too. Of course, that's what we do here. And I and I bow, and I just kind of leave. As you're about to head out the door, you just hear him call out from behind you. Thank you for not killing our men in Pyantai. They didn't deserve to die, whether they would have been resurrected or otherwise. And they spoke of all of you rather fondly, despite your refusal to fight on our Lord's behalf. Safe travels. And you yeah. turn to respond and he's gone. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you step outside, party, gone. <laughs> that's, that's cool you're just on your own out in the streets that's cool um, do they have a croissant yeah sure yeah There's. they actually have some that have a like uh, yeah. chocolate baked into them mm. oh that's nice some with like a cinnamon swirl throughout the, the folds of the flaky crust uh, I guess I would just go back to the tavern I would have assumed that's where everyone else went cool the rest of the party indulges in sweet desserts, getting their fill out of the gold that Sticky has decided to spend. Everyone getting at least one bite out of everything they want, left with excess amount to be stored away and probably to go stale unless you guys find a way to not have that happen. Sticky is just gonna That'd be impressive. store everything in her little bag of holding. Mm -hmm. And then she does have a bag of holding that you guys are now seeing for the first time. Wait, who is this? Sticky just pulls out her own bag of holding and just starts <laughs> stuffing desserts in it. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, uh, you guys are all indulging in your desserts. Drell, you've gone to Kurth's tavern. He's served you an ale. You're sitting alone while you drink, waiting for the rest of the party to show up, knowing that this is probably where they'll reconvene. Maybe. Maybe. I ought to be sick if not. Everyone Solid currently uh, not knowing what the next step is and kind of just eating and drinking in this moment of peace before whatever comes next. And that's where we're going to end the session tonight. <laughs> 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 so... Yeah. I mean, shopping had a mental breakdown yeah. and everything else in between. I don't know who had a mental yeah, breakdown. So That's crazy. <laughs> That's nuts. I don't yeah, know. I laughed so hard I was crying. I didn't have any part in that. 
<laughs> breakdown. What happened? Yeah. Uh, it was in tears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if anyone's sticking around after the session's over, but I'm going to wrap up the recording here. I, I appreciate everyone hanging out that is watching from a recorded standpoint. And we'll see you guys all probably next week. I don't know whenever AJ or Austin's next, like, I can't be here week hits. But you guys were talking about sometime in June, so we'll see. Um, um, June 21st. Okay, close. Oh, no, the 18th. Two weeks. Got it. No, 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 no. That's fine. Oh. oh. The, the 9th of July. We're, I'm not even close. So you we're just okay. gave uh, three <laughs> It's fine. We're not even close. It's because uh, I looked yeah. at dates and said them out loud. <laughs> uh, recording people, we'll see you again probably next week. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye.